trying to get reorientated with my buttons. This is this is the run. The last time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. Didn't think I'd see it again. Not looking forward to stepping back inside. Maybe we don't have to. He had to get a new one after the accident. Must have been very expensive. What about the gazebo? That's what I was just thinking. Oh, oh, it's not my dad. Oh, I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. Doctors more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. <laughs> what a crazy what a wild day, and crazy day. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What do you think we should say here? I'm so curious what happens if you're like, I mean, maybe we should tell you dad. But Joe could help. Joe could help. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm really right. curious about Let's see it. See what happens. But, okay. You know, Anna, Joe's pretty sharp for an old man who can't walk. That's right. And Sam here's got a good mind for a fool-headed kid. <laughs> Dad, I love you, and I love that you want to protect me. But please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house. Your rules, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Though before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. Oh, yikes. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. She's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. You're right. They don't like look alike. There's some, there's like uh, something no. a little wrong. Yeah, they could be they could be brothers, but they're they they're not the same. It's not like same dude with glasses on. <laughs> it's, Maybe it's, it's just the hair. That. Maybe it's just the hair, and we are getting Superman right now. They're pulling a Clark Kent on us, and we're really dumb. No, look at the mouth and chin. It's different. Is it though? Is it though? <laughs> they're not the they're not the same. Is it? You're the person who's like. There's no way Clark Kent could be Superman. Look at his chin. Look at <laughs> his chin. Who's like, what do you mean Usagi is Sailor Moon? <laughs> There's no way. It's impossible. It's impossible. Do you <laughs> look? She put on a tiny white mask. Totally different. Let me see here. Yeah, that's a good job, Chat. Is the jaw different, or is it just stubble? Who knows. Um, our promise is that we're going to promise to keep her safe, yes? Promise to keep her safe, or... But what do, what do you say if you refuse? Like, no, if she's in danger, I'm not going to help her. I will not keep Cause her that, safe. Because that's what he's saying. It's not that... It's not. He's not asking, like, is she in danger? He's saying, if she is in danger, will you, like, will you stick by her? Which I think it would be fucked up to be like, no. <laughs> But I don't, I honestly don't know what the refusal would, what I, I you would say. Yeah, I don't know either. I, hmm. I'm worried that if we take a promise, we're setting ourselves up for failure. Where it's like, sure. and now she's dead. And you betrayed the father. What might happen is... If you refuse, it's more of a, like, you know, nothing's going on and she's right. She can handle herself. And it might make her 
feel better about us even if he doesn't. And she's the one that we're working with right now. True. You're right about that. So refusing might be smart if it means that our relationship with her is is better. If she feels like we trust her and like but we know that she can handle herself. Like if we are, we're doing this for the dad, right? And so this is like, hey, we're, we promise we'll look after your daughter, right? She might be like, oh, I can take care of myself, but at least it puts his mind at ease. And so he's not interfering yeah. in our like, <laughs> like he's not going to show up and be like, oh, hey, gang, what's going on? Oh, I've been shot. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just don't. I just don't want to have a scene later if she dies. I don't want him to be like, you promised that you would keep Earth safe. Like, well, look, I'm worried about that, too. And I feel like that's the setup. But also for this moment, in order to get him to leave, I think we have to be like a promise, dude. I don't know. We, If we're playing the character, we've done everything for the dad, right? We've, like, we, in order to make her happy, we helped take down the mind that hurt her father, right? So, like, sure. the dad and I, we're, like, cool. We're, like, cool buddies. Yeah. So yeah. I, I mean, we're, we're buds. What is your, what's your gut inclination? I mean, I, me personally, I would be like, yeah, I promise. But knowing that, like, you know, it's bullshit. Like, I'm not, what do you want me to do? You told me to promise a thing that I can't, un I'd be like, yeah, all right. Sure, I promise. But I know that video games are not real life where it's like, in the next <laughs> scene, your ex-wife is dead. Right? Like, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, of course, my initial reaction would be like, yes, of course, I promise. Right? But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to five D chess this game. I think we should refuse. Okay. You think we should refuse? All right. Yep. Man, I think we should promise. We'll leave it to chat. Chat. Oh, that's right. We can leave it to chat. Oh fuck! I forgot about this. Oh, that's so fun. I'm gonna sit back. Chat. What you think? I, uh oh. Oh no! I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm trapped in a moment that I can't get out of. Okay, there we go. Woo. I say that all the time. <laughs> Is it true? Are you trapped? Dujer, are you trapped? <laughs> Dujer. Dujer, are you trapped? No. No, no trapped. Extensions. For some reason, it was off. <gasps> How dare they? Unreal. Activate. Set as overlay one. Done. All right, I think in theory, y'all should see it now, right? Let them choose That's for fine. you. Okay. What is, what were you playing? Everybody uh, was saying you were playing a marbles game. Uh, yeah, I was doing a um. I was doing a, uh, uh, like a giveaway at the end of, I got 50 codes. Sorry, I was trying to make sure this thing worked. I got 50 codes for, uh, avatars for Resident Evil, uh, eight. And they were like, give them away at the end of the Resident Evil, uh, village stream. And I was like, all right. So I had no idea how to give away 50 codes via, you know, chat in a short period of time. So chat recommended a game called marbles for stream. Which basically everyone in chat types exclamation point play and then they are entered into the thing and then the marbles randomly sort themselves and it was hilarious. It's super fun. Huh. That sounds fun. Yeah. It was a it was a very cute way of doing things. And 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 the and when we were waiting for you to um when we were waiting for uh waiting for you. When we were waiting for people to enter, I played you. So. I know. That's Somebody posted the clip of it in my channel, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> this song is taking flight. Uh, let me see. Why isn't it... Uh... <clears throat> okay. When installed, you have access to the Twin Mirror extension inside your stream manager panel. Click in the extension, then select a poll duration... That's what I did. Click in the extension. 
select poll duration, configure. So that's what I was doing. <laughs> well, I figured this out. We might as well just play you. Hold on. <clears throat> You like that? Do I like it? I love it. Do I like, like them it? Flourishes. Do I like it? Love every second of it. Um, I don't understand. Uh, possibly making viewers perspective a story. I don't understand what I've done wrong. It literally, it's working, but it won't pop up. How weird. Hmm. Resume game. So, the way it works is it should, in theory, if I go here, I should be able to just click on this, and then it's visible. Boop, it's visible. How weird. It worked fine last time. Yeah. What did I do wrong? Hold on. I'm literally going into into the deep now. If I knew something, something, and something, something, if I knew you Set his overlay. I did that. Oh, oh, Dodger, I'm an idiot. Oh no, what's wrong? Nothing, don't ignore me. I'm just dumb. I'm just really stupid in the brain. Okay, two choices. <clears throat> 60 seconds, starting poll now. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh what are yeah, we doing? there it goes. That was popped What up. are we doing, chat? What are we doing? There we go. What a delight. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, while we're here. <laughs> You can't you can't ruin your own song, I refuse to let you. Wow. 58% of the vote. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. All right. To promise. To promise. Chat is on Team Jesse, All I guess. Right. All okay. right. Resume game. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. 
I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. I mean, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> and see, now we got to work with this lady. Yeah, but... Dad's going to piece the fuck out and we got to still work with her and she's going to be like, I'm not a baby. Yeah, but the dad knows something's up. Eventually. But maybe I should look around the property first. <laughs> yeah. It's Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. Wait, look at it? No, nope, just... Joan loves the Red Baron. Huge Red Baron fan. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and read until the sun went down. Anna and I spent our nights out here, trying to find all the constellations. Yo, this place is beautiful. Yeah, she's got primo want, property. Oh my god. I want this house. What the hell? Is this what... Is this what houses in West Virginia are like? I mean, some. <laughs> some? Oh. I'm going to say not all. That's fair. There are plenty of houses in Oregon you could go to and be like, what a paradise. They're not all like that. Mm, we got a paint bucket. That's but a lot we of got elbow a grease. We got a paint bucket. We got a bucket. We got a pup 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 paint bucket. We got a bucket. We got a paint bucket. We got a bucket. Pup 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 paint what bucket. What is this song? I don't know, but the word bucket is really good, and I feel like it's underutilized. It's a very good ASMR bucket. 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 <laughs> paint bucket. Paint. A paint bucket. A bucket. A paint bucket. A paint bucket. A bucket. A bucket. A paint bucket. Bucket. A paint bucket. Paint. Paint bucket. <laughs> what paint bucket? A paint bucket. All right. So Nick uh, planted these before he died. Any snakes in here? No. <laughs> what the fuck? I was gonna charm them. Uh oh. Mind palace. House for sale. Anna never got rid of this sign. What? Mind palace. I think the happiest I ever saw Anna was the day she bought this place. Yeah, I can get it. You have a little. You have a river outside your home. Although there's definitely bears that walk up to there like, oh, hey. Can we talk about how I don't think that was the number on the actual... I have everyone to know this house is sold. We need to look at this again when we come out of the mine palace. I don't think 555-0113202 is the number. I thought it started with a two. I don't, I don't know. I thought you were going to point out that that's not how American numbers are written anyway. I want everyone to know this house is sold. But I guess, I guess that doesn't matter. Not to me. You're mine. I own you now. <laughs> it might be 200 years before it's paid off, but it's mine. So, when can I start moving my own stuff in? After you finish carrying all my stuff in. Sure, but that means I get to choose which side of the bed I'm sleeping on. What? No. You're going to sleep on the side closest to the door. Why is oh, that? I think they are the same person. So I think in, it's the same face. Fuck. I'm mad. And maybe because I like being near the window. Slap some glasses like on this stupid boy and he looks thing. just Not like twin. First. <laughs> we can talk about all this after my stuff's inside. But all your stuff's so heavy. 
Which is why I need your help. Don't slack, Sam. <laughs> this house isn't gonna decorate itself. And I want you to be part of that. He's had a rough two years. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, no, look, all right, yes, it definitely, all right, it definitely says, tell me I'm not, tell me I'm not crazy. It says to, tell me I'm not, I'm a, I'm a crazy person. That, it does not say 5-5, five, five. come on now. That is a Well, two. so, so here's the problem, is there's two sets of numbers on top of each other. Yeah, yeah, there are. <laughs> Do you think okay. for American releases they had to change it? I don't. I don't know. Because American, you, like you have to do five five five, right? That's the phone, like the fake number. Right. And that says two six two. So, like, yo, I'm losing my mind. I can't. I might go crazy looking at that. Like this. This could be. This could. We could unlock the whole mystery right here. This could right bless here. this shit wide open. <laughs> this bless us right open. This is where the ARG starts. Yeah. Speaking of ARGs, oh my god, uh, Oxen Freeze ARG started back up, and I'm so excited. Holy! I crap. saw you losing your mind about it. Uh, the the some of the people that were working on it before the the previous incarnation of the ARG, uh, ARG messaged me and were like, mm. "Bro, we called the old phone number and it has new things there," and I'm like, "Yes." So <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm very excited. And someone said that in the phone number, in the audio, uh, ooh, Boris Trail. I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for Fishing Sunday. Fishing Sunday. Jesse, do you think there's an AU where all of us just like fucked off to the countryside and we have fish and sundays mm, i'm pretty sure there's a au where i never made it out of ohio and also lived in like i don't know the the country and was like all right yeah let's go fishing like i believe that i think that could happen but no matter what still looks the exact same and for some reason, I don't know. It's kind of a pain Sent in the ass. Sent from a mourner. <laughs> Anna probably couldn't handle taking it inside. Like, do I really have to go fishing like this? <laughs> no. Country Jesse's still kind of a dick. I'll be real. Shattered glass. This is how whoever it was broke into the house. What is Country Dodger? Actually, what is City Dodger? Never mind. Let me rephrase that. What is? What do you think AU City Dodgers I was, like? <laughs> I was gonna say, um, AU City Dodger. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Besides being unbearable, what? Besides being right. a. Pro I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna discuss like ways that they're exactly the same, like you did, um, <laughs> City Dodger probably still absolutely hates uh, direct sunlight. Probably still gets annoyed when the sun is out. I and everybody's just... like, <laughs> "No, please go on." <laughs> no, that's it. Go on. I just, I just see you as you are, but like the theater kid side of you amped up to a hundred. So oh it's, yeah, it's you. I but went through my like. Also, like I went through my experimental clothing and hair phase like way earlier, mm -hmm. and yeah. Yeah, you definitely. Dress like you are a pop star, but you are, you know, you're like a Broadway actress. But for some reason, you're one of those ones that's, you know, not just like doing it because it's the, I love it. But you're like, this will lead to bigger things. And then. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I put on like a transatlantic accent sometimes just because <laughs> I think it makes me sound cool. Yes. That is how I, I imagine I, City Dodger. Yeah. Yeah. I enunciate words kind of weird. Um, just to like stand out. Yeah. I'm going to, yeah, I uh, like it. Yeah. I definitely City know. Dodger. Yeah. Jesse country. Jesse is, is not only an asshole, but definitely like one of those guys who's like, I don't follow politics cause everyone's screwing me. You know, like that guy <laughs> for sure, <laughs> yeah. for sure. That's who country Jesse is. 
Like, oh, do you think we'd be friends? Country Jesse and City Dodger? Definitely not. I think, <laughs> I think they would not be friends at all. Oh, I know they would. Mortal enemies. <laughs> but like, Somehow we'd still meet. You're but what's, we would, you're what's we wrong would with both, this country. Yeah, we would both be with completely different groups of people being like, ugh. <laughs> he is literally one of the most difficult people to talk to, you know? <laughs> I don't even know what she's saying half the time with her <laughs> <laughs> kale eating East Coast elitism. You know, he just like doesn't understand that you're supposed to massage the kale first. And, you know, I tried explaining it to him and he just didn't seem interested. So the only massage I get is when my dog walks on my back when I'm laying on the floor. <laughs> Oh, he Lord. definitely calls it a massage. The only, <laughs> mas the only massage I get is my dog walks on my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Country Jesse would be a hot mess. Wow, Country Jesse's a hoot and a half. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Let's go in this damn door. Okay. <laughs> You know, we're both day walkers now. Right, right. We're we're not we're not city or country anything. We could we could have been full on, but we're just we're sort of like in the middle, so Yeah. We're palatable. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> How would you describe yourself? Palatable. <laughs> That's the first word that comes to my mind. Not particularly <laughs> offensive. Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. What is that noise? Anna? I think it's wind blowing Anna. against blinders on a window. Okay. That's what it sounds like to me. I agree. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. She kept Good the drinks God. in the kitchen, in one of the pantries. It's rough being exasperated with yourself. <laughs> Can I look at her? No. Oh, my God. So whoever came in here came in with a baseball Hot. bat. Damn. Yeah. Cheesy action movies, dark thrillers, and human rights. The melting pot of Anna. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Melting pot of Anna sounds tight. To take me to <laughs> they were just never my thing. But like, look at that. The placeholders. That's a great name for a band. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Anna would pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. Cyber darkness. Before we mine palace. Sure. Article. Anna always was more interested in people than cold hard facts. I knew. Each year green. Oh, God. No, oh. you got. No, you already started. You beat me to it. Each year, Greenmount Primary School showcases new talent in an art contest. Amidst a jungle of creativity, one particular piece caught my eye, a sort of cryptid figure that refused to reveal its true nature to me. Unable to pierce the paper, young Timothy Brown had to step in. It's interactive, he said, pointing at a bump. You have to fold it out. One layer after another, the truth revealed itself. The cryptid slowly gave way to a map of basswood. 
If you think you've seen it all, take a moment to look at what the new generation has to bring. You might be surprised. I was. First off, Cold God. Secondly, nice moral. Nice moral to that little tale. Kids. That surprised Timothy I Brown. I keep it too. Dear Miss Millwall. <laughs> My dad says one thank you letters is what you do when someone's very nice. So I hope you like mine. This kid's probably 19 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank you very, very much for how you wrote about me. I don't know why you thought my drawing was worth ta uh, taking, taking, taking about uh, over the others, but... It was very, very nice you uh, to talk about it. My dad put your article on the fridge and circled my name. I am kind of scared. Some people might have gone and seen it and may uh, be disappointed, but maybe not. If I ever win another art contest, I will tell you. Sincerely, Timothy Brown. Stop. Adorable. Does it say take... Uh, drawing was worth taking. It does say that. It does say that. All right. Well, first off, grammatically, a mess. But spiritually, sentimentally, very, very nice. C minus. They're an artist. They're an C minus. Artist. They're an artist. Oh, my God. This. Speaking of which. All right. I'm starting to suspect this may this may be a setup. First off. I don't know. Okay. Have you seen? There's, there's, a, there's a TikTok video. It's so dumb. Where this guy walks what? into his room and he's like, he walks in holding his camera he's like, and he, he shows a note and he's like, my girlfriend broke up with me today, but she didn't have to do this. And he goes into his bedroom and his sheets are like kind of a mess and uh, a poster's off the wall on the floor and he goes over to his computer desk and, and the chair's like flipped over and he goes to his PlayStation 5 and like one panel is off. But like the way he does it is he does it in a way that like it's shaky camera and it's very obvious it's all fake. But, like, right. he, his computer monitors have, like, a crack screen wallpaper, right? But he's just like, I can't believe she did this to me! Ah! And it's just like, wait a minute. Who is buying this? And this is what this reminds me of. The one chair Amazing. that's, like, flipped over where it's like, she broke my chair! It's like, dude, that's just a flipped over chair. It's fu it's fine. There's nothing There's nothing wrong with it. There's no pro. It's like, ah! Damn you, Becky! This is, right. uh, same thing. I'm worried now that, you know, this is like... Who placed that neatly on the ground like that? You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. suspicious. I, I get you. I see. It's suspicious. Okay. Anyway, Mind Palace. Be amazing if she was like, "Are you in your damn mind palace again?" Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Hey, snapping in her face. Hey. <laughs> Just wanted some water. Holy crap. Huh. Sam. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know. Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Rude as shit. Why he lo What? I mean, isn't the implication that he's like, he literally can't hear her? Like he's too zoned in. Sure, I wonder what article. If it's the article that is about the mind, then maybe I get why he's like in his own head because he's he thinks mm. it's like a big. But if it's like every article he's like that, I get why she left you, dude. <laughs> it makes sense. It checks out why you were no longer together. Uh, manuals, music, a mess. Fix, fix. This feels like the only part of the house I recognize. 
Whatever punk broke in here wrecked it. it wasn't a punk. It was a charlatan. There. We would also probably mess with the evidence, but whatever. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Good thing it's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. Can I tell you what I called guitars when I was a kid? I would love to hear. T-tars. <laughs> Can I ask why? Is it like a Paschetti thing? I have no idea. My dad, my dad was a professional guitarist. There were guitars you all mean over the house, -tarist. and I called a T-tarist. He was a professional right. T-tarist, and I called them T-tars, and no one corrected me, so I just called them T-tars for a really long time. <laughs> I love that in your family they were like, just let her call it T-tars. It's fine. <laughs> um, it's the other fine. big one that went on for way too long was uh, instead of saying it's dark outside, I said it's darken. So I'd go, wow, it's so darken outside, and everyone would go, yeah, it's very darken. <laughs> Country Jesse would be having none of that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he, what you're talking about. I don't think she ever forgave me for saying I didn't think they sounded better. She's got a lot. That's true. Uh, it's, it's like my my dad's collection. My dad has a ton of records. Interesting. Ooh. Grab. The glass. Ow. <laughs> My fingies. Oh no, Just throw it back on the ground. <laughs> Snap it in half. Fuck, it was the wind. <laughs> he's, you know what? Oh. He can accept it. He's he big can. enough, he's, he's big enough. Weird place to put oh, that photo, but very, very strange. <laughs> it does definitely does are not belong there. Are you sure that's where it was? <laughs> put it near the fruit, the weird fruit and mushroom <laughs> photos. It's so on its own. It's so small. <laughs> that's not it's where it goes. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm positive. <laughs> it is literally the worst place to put that photo. <laughs> Of all the places to put a photo, it was better on the floor. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, taken down after Joe's accident. I want to put it back. Hmm. Aww. Just a good egg. It was the blinds! <gasps> right. Jesse! You were right. It's the it's the notorious uh, that's the to notorious sound of blinds. I'm curious if we fix this. All right, here's what's gonna happen. Only three things can happen now. One, hmm. we fix this and we get a clue. Two, we fix this, we get no clue. Actually, there's three things, and we fix this and there's literally someone on the other side like hello, which I'm hoping for. I'm okay. hoping for the Let's... terror moment. Fingies crossed for a hello. Fingies crossed. It's the lady with Finally, no filter. There. Oh, son of a bitch. It would have been amazing. Is there anything out there? That would have been amazing if there was just something like a Bigfoot in the <sighs> woods looking. <laughs> like at us like, <laughs> It was me. I broke in. Can you fix the, the plant or no? No, there was nothing there to let me fix it. I guess we don't mess with soil. <laughs> Him. We don't trust us. Him. A lot of wine bottles, a lot of, a lot, lot of just, a lot of just broken stuff for like no reason. That's what I'm I saying. Think you're right. I, this, this is like someone was trying really hard mm -hmm. to make it look like there was a break-in. Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? That's what I'm saying. Making a drink for Anna would be a good way to show her you're here for her. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. It was the father who discovered the break-in, yes? Yeah. Right? Yeah, because he called her. Well, I don't want and to... And they said, they said police are on the way? 
I don't want to be suspicious. I don't be a suspicious Sally. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. But what if? Don't be suspicious. Yeah. What if after the events of last night, she came home sad and drunken, and she couldn't find her keys? She broke she in to her own she home, up her own home. <laughs> and fucked this place up. Right because she destroyed her stuff over here, but not the guitar that is her mom's. And she knocked all this over. It was like, you know, it looks like someone flipped things. But then there is who would be drinking. Right? Maybe she's in on Maybe she knows. That he had to die for the coal god! Oh, yeah. oh I'm just Fuck. putting it out she, there. She's in on it. She Everyone's knows. in on it. Everyone's in Everybody's on it. Everybody's in on it. Everyone knows. Everyone's in on it. Don't go diving into your own head just yet. Stay here in the moment with Anna. All I'm saying is, coal god. Someone. You can't fool me, game. You can't fool me. I know what's up. Seemed searched through. Why would they search the, the why would they do that? Oh, she normally hey, bud. keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed Sam stuff. around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Uh, what? I do, Sam. I don't give a shit what you say. The Jesse side, if your I'm, brain wants to see it. I'm ah. the player, and I would like to look at Sam's stuff. Damn you, Sam. Damn you. What? She's not going to want something cold. Always said cold drinks are for parties. What? Okay. Is that a, is that a saying? It is now. Magnet of France? And always wanted to visit France. But life is just too strange for me there. What? 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 What do you mean life is too strange for me there? In France. She ain't with you anymore, dude. She, maybe she went to France after know. you broke up. You I don't know. know her life. Life is just too strange, dudes. Life is too strange too for strange. me in France. It's just too strange. Tickets. Anna's favorite band. Smooth as always, Nick. Charleston Concert Hall presents the placeholders. Charleston, West Virginia, Saturday, May 27th, 2017, 8.30 p.m. $75? Damn. Row two. I, you know what? Row two, I guess, is that makes sense. All right, so we yeah. have a note. Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. I'm worried about yesterday. Sorry about yesterday. You're right. I have been distant. Things have been pretty messy at work lately. You don't have to forgive me, but if you'd like to invite me to a concert, I'll just leave these two here. Oh, there might be some pepperoni rolls in the fridge. Nick coming swinging with the with the yeah. apology. Um, interesting. I mean, I guess him with the whole work thing is very similar to the way that we were with work, except he was involved in something that got him killed. Right. I guess we'll find out. Closet, that opened up to me. No drinks in here. What the hell are those? Just candy bars? They look like pot stickers. I'm sorry, what? Uh, oh, Here's yeah. Give her drinks. an entire carton of hazelnut milk. She'll love that. <laughs> Lime juice. Whiskey. Hazelnut? Why? You know what? I'm not. So many questions. Do I want to like... give her whiskey, chocolate milk, or Sprite? No. First off, it's Do... chocolate drink. It's not milk, because it's I'm in a closet. I'm just trying to layman's this for you. I, well, you I'm, seem confused. I, I, my confusion is with what kind of monster is like. You know what? I prefer most of my drinks room temperature. Not me. This, this, ah, this would be a red flag for me. I was like, that's a crazy person right there. I can't do that. I need my drinks as cold drink? as ice. 
All right. Well, Depends on the drink. Also, drink. hazelnut you and almond like milk are shelf stable straight. until you open them up. Could do. So it's no normal for those to not be in the fridge. I'm just saying. The fact that we're even doing this. Whiskey. Whiskey you don't put in the fridge. The fact that we are even talking about giving her a room temperature drink upsets me. It upsets me. I simply, I simply would not she even be in a situation with a room temperature school. drinker. Brings her back to being 10. Don't stress about what drink you bring her. It's just bringing it that matters. I think he's wrong. <laughs> People in film noir. I think it's a totally different vibe bringing her whiskey like versus chocolate. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I agree. Lime juice makes no sense, though. Yeah, I think it's between chocolate milk and whiskey. Although, why would it be an option? Just to see if we do it? <laughs> like, like, he said chocolate milk makes her feel like she's a kid again. So it might make her feel, like, safe. But it also might make her be like, why do you treat me like a kid? You know, because we already hit her with, uh, like, we're your daddy now taking care of you, boo-boo, you know? But glasses McButt butt was like it doesn't matter, just bring her a drink. Alright, should we vote? I don't know how we do this. Um Let me see, how do we pull this off? So it's like You're right. Chat chat's gonna choose lime juice though. If you pick lime juice, we're not doing it. <laughs> if you pick lime juice, we're not doing it. Well, it only lets me do three choices, and I don't know what the three choices are gonna be, so we're gonna see what happens on your screen right now. Let's say uh I guess that works. I guess that works. Yeah. Yeah, I know which is which. These lime juice voting MFers. I'm not picking lime juice. I'm not picking lime juice. I mean, the game said she likes it. Lime juice There's soda? Do we have soda? Juice. I mean, isn't that what it is? Isn't it like limonade? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, damn, they're making me guess stuff now. You have twenty-two seconds to vote. As Which I is try... with them. Just look at this. Look at this. One of them is obviously below the other two. One of them's to the left, and one of them's to the right. Come on, guys. A bunch of people are saying they just guessed. What do you mean? I I hate I hate this, by the way. It was not only was it a tie at 36% apiece, but it was 96 to 97 with one more voting for the <laughs> lime juice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, this should be this should be great. Hold on, let me respond to this message really quick. <laughs> This should be fine. <laughs> well, now Dodger's convinced me that maybe, maybe the lime juice is fine. Let me look at it one more I think time. Lime juice, go too soft lime juice drink. Is probably fine. She actually likes to drink this stuff straight. Could do. Don't but I, I don't think about what drink you bring her. It's just bringing it that matters. I, I, all right, let's just do it. It's insane, but let's do it. It's insane, but we're doing it. Chat spoke. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. You said it didn't matter what drink we yes, did. I this is why I call you Glasses McButt, but. Why yes, are you so difficult you to pick apart? Thanks. I, for one, is it not even in our hand? No. We are, how are we carrying it? This is an, it's an RPG now. Doesn't matter. What are you waiting for? Bring it to her already. Uh, this was my pocket of Unlimited holding. Lime juice. Still something you like? That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. 
This is just... This is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like... the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer break into my house? Should we X? God, I can't yeah. believe being pissed. We brought in the drink. Yeah, why not? You're not alone. Here, have a drink. It'll help. She cupped it lovingly and then realized it was lime juice. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's helping a bit. The things I learned about lime juice. Hey, are you feeling better? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, it's going to be okay. I'm here for you. You and me both. Uh, if we say it's going to be okay, that's just a platitude. She'll be like, shut up. Yeah. I think also you and me both is kind of like, yeah, you're not the only one who's having a hard week, lady. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say I'm here for you, I think. Okay. I agree with that. Whatever happens, you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This whole thing is Thanks, a mess. Pal. <laughs> but Thanks. honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in. It was nice. But lately, he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights, at the bar or the fishing shack, come home late refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. Ouch. It doesn't feel good <laughs> Yikes. she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. What are we gonna do? Be like, how dare you? Just, yeah, I deserve that. I deserve that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we, that. we acknowledge that we yeah. were difficult, right? <laughs> You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's, it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? Ooh. 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 Can I suggest a why here? Yeah, I think we, sh I think we should talk to Twinny. Face it, Sam. If you had paid attention, you'd have known she wasn't going to say yes. You did. I mean, I, th I think the answer is I didn't listen to you. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, look at you. Look at you with your deductive abilities. You're right. That's totally what it is. You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that, you know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. Did that seem weird to you? Did, I wish I could rewind. 
There, Which part of it? I don't know. There's something, again, did she set this all up? Look, I love this girl. She's wonderful. But is she in some cult? Is she in some cult cult? Because I'm telling you, something's wrong here. I don't know what it is. What, seemed a little weird. What are you getting that from? She's literally just having a moment of like, maybe I'm the common denominator. Maybe, That's what I'm maybe saying. it's my fault that this shit is falling. No, that is a normal fucking thing to no, say no, no, when you no, have no, the no, same no, no. situation repeat in a relationship. It's only two times. Two times isn't. That's 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 not correlation. All I'm saying is, what if the reason why, just like in the Nick Cage film, uh, with the bees. Yep. <laughs> the bees. She's, yes. she's part of the coal. She's part of the. She's part of the coal cult. And she's like, I failed to get you killed, <laughs> but I got Nick. What? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just bullshitting. I. I'm. <laughs> it does. Whatever. It does. The way she said it was weird. Is all I'm saying. Look, don't. <laughs> You know what's awful is you just know, you just know that like half the people watching right now are like, Jesse's usually right. I'm in. Yep, it's true. <laughs> She's trying to get these boys murdered. That's her whole bag. <laughs> Look, I know, I know you're saying to me that doesn't make sense. She's a sympathetic character and she's been through some shit. Her, her husband just died. The like her entire everything about her, I guess, were they married? No, they were just dating. No, they were just dating. Her boyfriend just died. Things are a mess. And, like, her house just got broken into. Her week's been terrible. Like, I get it. I know you're saying she's sympathetic. But what if... What if... She's running the whole thing? What, what if at the end what if she's, she's like... What if she's the high priestess of the coal god? That's... No, I'm thinking higher. I'm thinking higher. What if she's your What twin? if she is the coal god? Oh... <laughs> I'll say, what if she was the twin? What if she's the twin and she's like, what come on, bro. The... <laughs> Wouldn't that <laughs> be a that twist? Happening? Wouldn't that be the twist? <laughs> Sorry, I blacked out. Um, what's happening? <laughs> If I can, my, I, I, <laughs> it is my goal in life. If I can just get you <laughs> totally silent, <laughs> if I can just stop <laughs> you from reacting, I know you'll yes and everything I say. So if I can push it just far enough that you're like, what? <laughs> I know. That I, I just know. wait it out. <laughs> If I can just keep pushing until you're like, wait, what? Then oh I know I've God. done my job. All right. Uh <laughs> I don't even remember what the prompt was for this fucking question. She's feeling guilty about what happened. Oh. She shouldn't bear that burden alone. <laughs> oh. Um. Uh, I think I would say it wasn't doomed because, like, that's sort of a roundabout way of acknowledging like it wasn't that we were doomed it's that it's that something got in the way like something got in the way with us and something got in the way with you and nick and it was work both times but it However, was like dangerous going, work. going back to what you said going back to what you were saying you said yeah that she thinks it's her fault right and then yes. us saying it's not your fault seems like the way to answer her being like it's all my fault i'm the common denominator i'm just going off of what you said I'm trying to be sure. the supportive friend right now, the one who doesn't think she's leading a cold call and actually your twin, but... So, so you're saying you do think it's her fault? I... Look, I have no evidence to say that it wasn't her fault. Say it wasn't her fault. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant. Especially someone like Nick. It must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I closed people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're going to find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. 
What about you? Yeah, I mean... I need to clear my name. I'm not leaving you alone. I need to of clear course. my name. Yikes. Of course. Of course. Yes, yeah. Of course. I want to know who killed Nick as much as you do. Let's get the asshole who did this behind bars. It's the only thing we can do for Nick now. I just keep bouncing back from terrified to angry. That is very understandable. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll or you hiding evidence? Thanks, Sam. Why would she want us to cut? Shut. Look, let me go along with your crazy fucking theory. Why sure. would she want us to shut down the coal mine if she's the she coal didn't. god? She didn't want us to shut down the coal mine. We did it because her dad got hurt. And we did it for her, right? But she isn't the one who said, go make the article. And then after the article came out, she broke up with us. Put two and two together, Dukes. This is a plot. This is a coal god plot. And we are, we are just at the tip of the iceberg. God damn. All I'm saying is. Oh no, the music is ramping. It did ramp up. What the hell? Why? As far as Bug was concerned, this was her real house. Aww. That's a cute picture. Anti-slavery meetings to be addressed by... Can't really see. Alright, let's go this way first before we... I agree. I'm taking this photo. The hell? Not seeing it like this. It's not what Anna needed. Oh, it's a very nice photo, but shaded very suspiciously. Like, yeah. very creepy shaded. Mm, this seems maybe like this is the door. It looks like, I don't even, oh man. Because everything else is already open. Yeah. Okay, let's look everywhere else then. Ooh. Watch your back. As if her week wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Oh, don't, I don't erase think it. We, yeah. Hell no. Twin. Nick was very moved in. Or was he? Twin toothbrushes? Use your brain, Dodger! Why do they have European plugs? Use your brain, Dodger! <laughs> this is a plot. The coal god? You hey, coal god, old god, old country, Europe. Use your brain, Dodger. This is a plot. This is a plot of the highest order. Also, how much you want to bet that this is how we get into that room? And it's going to be locked if we touch the other door. Oh, probably. All right. Let me go back over. We'll go back into this room over here. Well, I don't know. That room would be really big. Not you plugs, maybe British plugs. British plugs? British plugs. What? No, British plugs with a three. Uh, Polish plugs. Polish, right? I Jesse, swear I to God, be honest these with are... you. That looks more like American plugs than anything. No, no, no. German plugs. Yeah. Polish plugs. They're, it's it's like an Eastern European plug, for sure. For sure, that's a, that's not an American plug outlet. Everyone knows that we have the like two, one up above, one below. What? They definitely are. They are definitely not American. Just saying. It looks like Joan's using this room now. That Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Suspiciously empty bed. This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? Who was Joan again? Joan Bug. Oh. Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. All right, so we have obviously a kid's desk, but still ransacked. Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. 
Oh, that's one of them smart kids. Oh, you correcting teachers now, Joan Bug? Interesting. If there's nothing in here, or I guess they pulled it all out. Uh, her thing's been searched, so the bed, I guess. play as young Professor X in this game. <laughs> Come on, work, you piece of junk. I know you're awake. No, I'm not. Then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep doctor. Come on, get up. I need your help. Try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course, when you fix it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> okay. I'm not sure that I, I'm, I mean like, there's a lot about that scene, but I'm not sure I'm comfortable with the fact that like, the one thought he has when returning to this room that is now Joan's room as he's like, remember that time we banged in here? Like, right. I don't know that I want to see that. <laughs> yeah, so your place got ransacked and robbed. Remember we banged in here? I don't know that that's... All right. All right, so yes, of course it's locked. The door God is damn it. Huh. She never used to lock it. What do you think's <laughs> in there? Uh, I don't know. If it's a dead body, it wouldn't surprise me at this point. We've already found two of, well, one of them, plus a bloody... That's true. We're gonna look real sus <laughs> if we're at yet another place with a dead body. Why is it so dark in here? Cole God. If I swear to God, if that little figurine is in this room, I am gonna lose my damn mind. <laughs> Stuff searched, yeah, everything's thrown out. out. All of Joan's stuff was searched thoroughly, it said. Mm -hmm. But didn't say that Joan's stuff was like taken, just that it was searched, right? Books. Yes. What if what if Joan did this? Ooh, that could be good too. <gasps> what if Joan is the coal god? No, that's not what I'm saying. Oh my god, you're totally right, Dukes. What if Joan's the did I just walk on her laptop? Like, yeah, hey, he whatever. This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. Oh my god, what if she's the coal god? Tapestry. You come to see the tapestries? Uh, they bought it together. Gonna... Favorite piece of art in this house? Technically, it's like, I don't know. I'm not going to say it's the only piece of art. Everything else seems like you bought it at, like, you bought the frame and then kept the picture that was in it. Also, I love the little pillow hampers. So we can't yeah. get in here. This is Look it. Look at oh, this that laptopy. Toppy. I guess Anna must have left it on. But she had her laptop with her. Is this well, Nyx? Well, 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 well. Wow, well, wow, well, 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 oh, transfer. Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? Oh, why Who did we are not you? check there? Uh, ah. God damn it. Shout. Say, hey, get that guy. 
Say, say, hey, hey. Sam. Sam, who was that? Sam, are you okay? Uh, I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah, yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? How do you even know that? How do you know? You're in on Everyone's in on this! <laughs> uh, find Nick's, si Nick's, find Nick's secrets. Yes, he's secrets. Uh, find Nick's backup files. Great question. What is the object? You know what? This is a poll question for the kids. What do we do? And I'll, I'll let you sing us out for this. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> You've just been hitting the head. What do you do? I'm so glad that this song is getting so much just... Oh, unpause? I can't... Son of a... Bee. Son of a bee. <laughs> this is my favorite part right here. Da -da -da. <laughs> my flourish. You uh, like? Uh, I like. All right. Well, everyone said find Nick's backup files, I guess. That was a huge victory for Nick's backup files. Okay. All right. We need Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer. Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? Stop pull. No. No, I don't I don't think so. I I don't actually over the last few months. Remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Hell yeah. We know how to get there. Because we did some exploring earlier. Ooh. Your father called. Said there'd been a break-in? Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. There's literally a hole in that door. This lady can hear us. Sorry, <laughs> I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. You're talking to a man in your bathroom? That seems weird. Did that door seem huge in comparison to her body? It was a very big, it's, you know, it's a sturdy wooden door. I don't know. Maybe that's what I look like when I'm next to doors. <laughs> I've never, I know. I've never sized you up comparatively to doors before. So I'll keep that yeah, in mind for you, next time. If you could pay attention next time, that would be really great. I will. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll let everyone know. Your you're... fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Duke's Good memories. Door size Anna said he'd been sneaking <laughs> off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? This, now this is, this is horror West Virginia right here. This is, <laughs> is Joan here? Joan rides this bike everywhere, which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. Did I ever tell you when I What's was younger? Here? She's probably in there snooping, trying to solve the crime that we should have figured out a while ago as adults. Um, <laughs> when I was a kid... I would ride my bike everywhere, like everywhere. Mm. And 
Uh, I discovered. Uh oh. Used to make Joan's first s'more. I remember teaching Aww. Becca to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. You know what? A little burnt doesn't hurt. Burnt don't hurt. Burnt don't um, hurt. Are you, are you a uh, toast the marshmallow by the coals or a light it directly on fire sort of person? I'm a light it on fire, blow it out person. Same. I just, I turn it black as night. Yeah. And I, I want to make it. sure that, that the outside is like crisp, but the inside is gooey. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I like yeah. too. Uh, no, so what I was going to say is I used to bike everywhere as a kid. I would bike everywhere. I would do, you know, i bike for miles and miles and miles. And there there was a good summer one year where I would, but I found out there was a place called Marion's Pizza that was like, um, let me tell you how, how I got there. It was, I'd go okay. from my home to the major street that was nearby, take the major street all the way down for, I'm going to say six or seven miles, hit a highway, ride my bike along the side of the highway to this point where the Marion's Pizza was. And then I go in there and I play um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, the arcade game. And I would dump quarters into that game. And what ended up happening is one day my parents were like, where have you been the last couple weekends? It's like, I've been riding my bike over to the Marion's next to the credit union. And they were like, that is 16 miles away. Stop lying to us. Where have you been? And I'm like, that's where I've been. And they never believe me. I don't think they believe me to this day that I literally oh biked <laughs> every weekend 16 miles out in the middle of nowhere to play this to play this game. They still, this day, I don't think they believe me. And I was just like, what do you mean? They're like, where were you? Tell us where you were. I'm like, I was playing in the arcade. They're like, no, you weren't. What were you doing? <laughs> I was like, do you think I was doing drugs? Is that what this is? Yeah, I was doing drugs, mom. They're like, there's no way you biked across a highway. I was like, first off. Is that what you want to hear, mother? First off, I did. And that's probably the most dangerous thing that happened is I biked across a highway. I was going to say, the second you were like, I biked on a highway. I was like, oh, my God, how are you yeah. alive? Well, I was, uh, you know, uh, 16, uh, 16 uh, miles. Not, uh, I don't. It, I mean, it took me a whole day. Like, I would leave in the morning and then I would bike there and get there. Like, I don't know. 11 in the morning right when it opened and I get a small I get a small personal uh, pizza and I play that game and then I bike home and it, I would get home I don't know like 5 or 6 at night it was like a whole day damn it was that's great. dedication dude yeah and, and then I stopped doing because my parents got suspicious that I was doing drugs I think <laughs> Yeah, my it, when I was in high school, like my uh, I'll never I'll never forget this. This this is how I knew I had like sexy legs in high school. When I was in high school, uh, sexy legs is that what you yes, said? Sexy legs. Not because much, of all the biking. Is yeah, that the not connection? much about me is I can say is truly sexy, but I think I had great legs because I'll never forget what, for our senior for senior Halloween at Halloween you would dress up right, I and mean, seniors would always dress up right. in like slightly provocative outfits, right? And sure. so the guys, myself and two of my friends, we dressed up, we dressed up as the incredibly well-endowed dance troupe. <laughs> so we got, <laughs> we had like all, like a full body leotard on. And then we had a sock that went from like our crotch all the way down to our ankles as like the goof. Okay. okay. And I'll never forget that while walking, one of the teachers were like, nice legs, Jesse. <laughs> I'll never forget that shit. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I was like, hold on. A teacher said that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I felt like, damn, she probably meant nice ass, but she said legs because she didn't want to get fired. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll never forget that shit. That's what. I, that's my first time I ever felt like really like, oh, me? Yeah. What? Yep. Yep. Felt good about it. Hot damn. So, feeling, pre yeah. Just Look, got some game. <laughs> For everyone who's like, man, your, your school was weird. Our school wasn't weird until we left. I think it shows you how weird our school was. We were in it, and so we didn't realize how messed up our school was. But the next, but the next year, the next year, let me tell you, the school dances were all canceled because people were like having sex clubs in like the bathroom. Uh, my favorite teacher ran away with an 11th grader to like Mexico. 
Like, well, we've talked about this before. So we much had shit similar happened. Teacher situations, yeah. The year, like, I left, went off to college, and I heard so. I was like, wait, what is happening in our school? The the student, the 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 twelfth graders, like, what we did for our prank. Our prank senior year was to like paint a rock outside. Their prank is they literally almost burnt down the school. I, I don't know. I think I was just in a class of like. We had some assholes and some people who were like, you know, dicks, but none of us were bad to each other. Like of all right. the, I think we only had like 181 kids in my, my grade, but like all of us, none of us were like mean to each other, but holy shit. Every, it was like everyone else. The minute we left, we were like the last good kids class of 99. We were the last of the millennium and the rest of them assholes. All of them, <laughs> all of them, all of them. Terrible. Y2K people. does something. Y2K yeah. did something to those it kids. It messed them up. Yeah, I, I'll never forget. That was that was like the wildest. I got I was on the phone with like a friend, and they were like, "Dude, did you hear?" That was also the phone call where I was told that uh, the daughter of my dad's boss had a crush on me and never told me. And I was like, "You mean I could have been getting some in high school?" Yeah. <laughs> I learned a lot that phone call. I was really upset. Made me so mad. All right, anyway, where were we? Well, I'm still mad about that. <laughs> I'm still upset about that. There's an AU. There's an AU where you're married with eight kids and you're going, ah, I could have been a gamer. Could have been a gamer, yeah. By the way, I just want to say to all of my fellow classmates who have like eight kids now, boy, y'all are, I feel for you. <laughs> I'll see posts and they're like, Chasler went to Sunday school today and I'm like, holy shit, I'm so glad that's not my life. Oh my god. I'm so grateful every day that I don't like I just I know many people are like, I'm so blessed. And I'm like, oh hell no. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't need Chasler going to Sunday school. I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Uh, AU Jesse is like my wife and Miserable. I have been married. We were high school sweethearts. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just, uh, I don't have any friends outside of her because I don't need any. Mother and I, when we go out to eat. <laughs> Mother. We only, we only, eat, we only eat at uh, Chili's because that's about of as course. much spice as I can handle. <laughs> Wow, this is a really alternate universe, Jesse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy's an asshole. I hate that guy. Have I ever told you when I when oh, I? Oh, just hold on. To, wait, wait till uh, after this. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's a, the mind palace. We can't just slip in and out. We can right now. We don't have to do no, anything. No, we All can't right. just slip in and out. We can't. All right, tell me. All I was gonna say was when I went to. Um, when I was in Oregon trying to get my visa like sorted, like right before I stayed with you for a couple of days, mm -hmm. um, uh, it was the first time I had stayed with my sister in a while, and so I kept being like, "Oh, I'll make dinners," you know, like you guys are putting me up, I'll I'll make dinners for you guys and whatever. And swear to God, my sister can't handle anything more than pepper, and even pepper is too much for her sometimes. And I was like, "What?" happened to you what is going on with your mouth what is this are you kidding me is this a goof and her kids would be like no sir, sir you cannot put anything in there like you can't oh wild. i don't like i don't like that i don't like that at all i hate that yeah i uh i there are multiple reality versions of jesse and the jesse that uh is like i don't like hot stuff that Jesse definitely is dead. He is terrible. I I will <laughs> let you know right now. That guy, that guy. worse than Country Jesse, or uh, are they the country same person? Jesse, I at least want to have a beer with Country Jesse. Country Jesse sounds like a great guy to have a beer with. We could probably talk. We probably fight a little bit, but that's fine because at least he talked to me. This guy would be like, ah. Uh, some of the things you tweet, I think, are a little offensive, and I am not a fan of gaming culture as it promotes uh, ungodliness. Violence and kids. And <laughs> uh, it goes against my beliefs. Like, what beliefs are those? It's like, well, that uh, Satan is trying to get my kids, and uh, that is why I don't like spicy food. I'd be like, no, no, no. You're a bad person. I like 
I like that somehow, like on some level, you're just roasting yourself, even though that's not you. It's like weird. It's a weird thing that's happening right now. I, I'm fine roasting myself. <laughs> I'm fine. If I'm going to roast anyone, myself is a good person. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Ha ha ha, got him. That's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Aw, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a bug. Just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Don't worry about it. <laughs> the point of bug. fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. Oh my god. My dad says that. Can I tell you, uh... When I was younger, I had the exact same like, but there'll be dead like that. Oh no. So my dad started using hot dogs. Oh, so he would bring hot dogs and then he'd tear off little pieces of hot dogs. And then we use those to fish. And here's the thing. They worked just as well. They worked <laughs> That's just as well. Amazing. That's yeah. very cute. We caught just as many fish with hot dog pieces as we did with worms. Um. Just saying. I have never once caught a fish, and my dad was always like, "It's not about the catching. That's why they call it fishing." I'm just like, <laughs> I would want to, I want to catch a fish though. That is like, something country Jesse would with say. With your thoughts. Uh oh, it's open. Country. Oh, oh, oh. Bug. Bug. Muley, how did you? Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. What? How old Bug, are you? Stop this. This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Why? What? Do you Why? you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. What? I'm going you to. Can't yes, like what? This. Not without telling anyone. Wait, I can't say anything. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. What? You should tell your mom? She's. I'd say we ask, is everything okay at home? Yeah. That seems like I mean, the, the answer is going to be no. Her dad just died. And she doesn't want to tell her mom. If we say tell your mom, she's going to be like, "F you, bro." Yeah. Is there something wrong with your mom? No. I'm running away because things are so great. <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. She doesn't do <sighs> anything. Just Cold God. The common good. Takes her back pain pills. That's what I'm saying, Cold God. Like a lump. Well, oh, because she was miss. doing drugs. When yeah. it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking you, you for are. your permission. There's nothing for me here. You are the most childlike looking child I've ever seen. How dare you be like, I'm not a child anymore. You are 2,000, you're, you have the, a baby face, and you have the body of, like, an eight-year-old. You are a child. How dare you be like, I'm not a child anymore. I mean, this is, it's Little Mermaid. I'm 16 years old. I'm not a child. Let's be, let's be real, though. At 16, everyone's like, I'm not a kid anymore. So. Yo, have you seen 16-year-olds now, though? They look like they're 27. <laughs> I am not a fan. Although now if I feel if a, if a modern day 16 year old came to me and was like, I'm not a child. I'd be like, I believe you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I always get a little weirded out when I'm like, oh, my God, that how old are you? Yeah. TikToks. I, I, 
everyone looks too old. And they're like, just had my 16th. And I'm like, oh, I can't watch this anymore. Delete. Uh, all right. Uh, don't make the mistake I made. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I that's... Feel but also, is she going to be like, I'm not, it's, it's like one of those things where like your parent tells you like, I know because I made the same mistake. Maybe this is a poll. Maybe this is a poll one. Sure. Let the kids decide. All right. That'll there give me go. an opportunity to ask you, hey, you're mentioning TikToks a lot. You watching, you super into TikTok now? No, what I'm into is uh, I have like four Reddit channels that I follow religiously for my own personal doom scrolling needs. And okay. They everyone so I follow R slash public freakout a lot. <laughs> okay. And I love it. It is watching people lose their mind on Reddit is hilarious. And so I watch that a lot, and every once in a while they'll show like TikTok things. And so I'll click on the TikTok to watch it, and then I'll see like something else that you know, just like on YouTube where you suddenly get caught up in it, right? Sure. And so I will click on it, and I don't have the app. I'll just be on, like, a web page. And then I'll just, like, click on the next one and the next one. And I'll be like, all right, well, that's enough of that. Right? I'll see one and be like, well, that was stupid, and then I'll stop. But, uh, yeah, I don't – like, I'm not into it. I just, for some reason, lately – you know, it's kind of like there when Vine was a so thing. There so much fodder for that Reddit. Oh, you have no clue. Every day there's, like, 18 new – Although lately, most of it's just people being like super effing racist. You're like, I'm glad yeah. they're caught on film because I'm like, F that dude. But also, holy shit. Turns out people are awful. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah they I are. Am, yeah. They are. I'm one of, you know, like 8 billion millennials that halfway through 2020 were like, all right, fine. I'm bored. Fine. I'll download TikTok. And, uh, yo, it's actually become like my feel good app. I can see that. I can see it Because the algorithm figures out what you want to watch. And if you're like, I just want to see um, cottagecore uh, baking videos and um, videos <laughs> and videos of, you know, queer couples um, getting married. And I want to see somebody embroider a thing. And like, it'll that's just all it'll show you. And it's great. <laughs> There might be one person we probably both watch. I'm gonna, I don't know if you know this person. I don't remember her name. I just know that I've seen every one of her videos because I went through all of them. It's this girl who does all of her videos from her bedroom, but she does like, she does everything in like that mid Atlantic accent you were talking about. Yes. And that, and she does it in like oh. the most over the top and way. And she like, she like roasts racists and stuff. She roasts everyone. I don't yeah. know who this girl is. I love her. I love everything about her. I think she's incredible. I'm just like, I love this fake voice she does. It is hilarious. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't know who it is. I just know that I've, I think I've watched every video. I'm just like, <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Oh, that voice, it's so funny. Also, Chad is saying all the different <laughs> cottage things they love. Um, so yeah, there's, there's alt cottage. Uh-oh, my mom just sent me a message. What's the message? Oh, my God. Mom, tell us the deets. What's up? Uh, oh, there's a, there's also a lot of D&D &D goofs on there, chat. For anybody who's listening to this and being like, hmm. My mom's trying to give me an old rug. <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh, what does it look like, It's mom? tan. It's a tan old rug. Oh, no design? It's just tan? Oh, she just said, do you want a tan rug? She's like, could you oh, use a mom, tan Mom, send rug? a picture. Send picture. Yeah, I'll show you. We got it. We got it. Okay. I'm not going to say send picture because Dodger wants to see the picture. I'll just say send <laughs> picture. Yeah, we're doing this for an internet goof, Mom. Could you please send me that picture? Thanks. <laughs> it's not a goof. This is real life. This Jesse. is super real. Uh, okay. Chat says uh, B. Okay. Don't make the same mistake I made. Leaving is going to hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I... It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time, and then she's too out of it. And never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. 
my dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. I listen. I'm so upset they cut back to our view because I can't stop staring at her shirt. I know it's supposed to be a horse, but in the middle of that is like the, the nose, the nostrils, and the mouth of that horse looks like a screaming monster, and I can't stop staring at it. It's blowing my mind. I can't. I know I'm supposed to be focusing on this scene, but I swear to God, it's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. I can't even focus. Uh, do we say trust me? No. I mourn him too? I don't know. Well, she's, I mean, she's saying nobody, like, it's not the mourning isn't the problem, right? People are sad, but it, she feels like no one's, no one's listening to her that there's more to this. So we need to impress upon her that we believe her and that we care. All right. So I this would, is why I you're would good say, at this. yeah. B? Oh, thank you. That's what I would say. Okay. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. <laughs> yeah, I know about the wake. You approached a few people, but you dropped it as soon as it got uncomfortable. Anyway, it's not like I expected any different. This place is full of gutless, patronizing adults. And Girl, I'm we literally were out in the town. woods! Yeah, what? It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think. Not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In 10 years? Something with insects. Hmm. We've talked about this? Oh no, we took too long of a break. Yeah. Hmm. Something with insects, I can't tell if it's going to be like, I mean, obviously that's her goal. She wants to do something with insects, but I can't sure. tell if she if is. If that'll come across like, like I, don't I don't know. know. You, yeah. you like butterflies, right? Hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what the right answer is here. I... No, of course it was insects. Chat, we all agree. Insects is what she loves. But mm. she... The way they're phrasing this, something with insects, I don't know if that's... I mean, this this could just be the game, like, <laughs> doing one of those tests of, like, have you been paying attention? What is she like? Mm-hmm. Does she like buggies? Yeah, B sucks. B's not the right answer. Uh, we've talked about this. I don't know. I feel like A is safe, but all right, let's A. Let A. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Remember what we said this morning? You could be anything you want. You don't want to stay in this town. You don't have to. But leaving like this. Running away? That's not gonna help anything. Thanks for listening. But I don't know if I can take this place anymore. Can't you try? What would your father say? Look You're at that just shirt. Telling me what I want to hear. Terrifying. Or what you think it is I terrifying. want to hear. I just want the truth. For once from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Fug. Don't touch me. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this town. And so I'm going and you can't stop me. I mean, you literally told me where you're Sam, going so I could have to tell your something. mom. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. Oh, 
Oof. You know what? Here's the thing. I kind of want to be like, all right, partner. Here's, yeah, here's literally. I want to do that too. I get it though. She's like a kid, but I'm kind of like, oh, but she's a smart kid though. Yeah, I don't even need to. I want to tell her. I want to tell her. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, let's tell, tell her. her. You were right, Bug. If your father didn't die in that crash. Someone killed him and covered it up, made it look like an accident. Now I don't know who did it yet or why. That's why I came here. That was maybe too much, Sam. She's a kid. I was right. You were right. I need you to not tell anyone, though. I won't. I won't tell anyone. Not even my. And mom. I need you to stay at home. I will. I'm gonna go home right now. Thank you, Sam. I don't know if that was a good idea. Me neither. But I literally at the start of the scene, he was like, "Ah, uh, my methods don't work with this kid. You do what you want to do. We did what we want to do." Now that I've kept your daughter from Glasses McGillicuddy, town, so just like back off, dude. Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. Although, what if this is like again a cult situation, and this girl, we got her to stay here, and now she's doomed. Don't. I just want to see what's going on out here. Out on the boardwalk. Boardwalk. Out on the boardwalk. There's our fish ruler. Now, this uh -oh. record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. Stretched his fish? That's right, he stretched his fish. Ooh, sit. Can you, st oh, Life is Strange style. Yeah, he's gonna start drawing. Or photographing. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with him. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. All right. Unreal. Even our own brain is walking away. What is this? Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. A three-year-old? Yeah, we started him young. I guess so. Girl likes her comics. I watched a video of a man and his wife building an entire cabin by themselves in three days today. Just there's, want to point that out. There's a show on something I watched. Man, I really need to keep track of what goes on when I fall asleep on my couch. Uh, there was a show that I watched where it was, it might even be on YouTube now. It was, it's a, um, like a group of like, I don't know, five guys. And then, uh, these two ladies who were building a house out in the middle of nowhere for a friend. Like the guy wanted to start living off the grid. And so okay, they're yeah. like, all right, we're going to build him a starter house. And, and I'm going to say a day they had this thing up. And his shower was like a series of buckets, and he had a stove that he could make beans on, and then like the, it was genuinely a house in the middle of nowhere built in a day. But I, the guy loved it; he was so happy. He was like, "This yeah. is perfect." And I was like, "Wow, that is how I know I'm not alternate universe country Jesse." I was like, "Your shower's buckets, man, buckets." <laughs> no, nope, couldn't do it. Is that, that Superbane? Joan Super always bug. liked bugs. Hmm. There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? I mean, the year probably changed, but... We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? 
Maybe he did that for the. Uh, yeah, scoop. he's getting. He's yeah, he's getting in. He's getting in with the right people. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts, <laughs> clearly Bug was there too. Wait, that was oh college. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I was like, hold on, that was high school. I was like, oh my god, they, they everyone aged terribly. <laughs> I never. <mind. laughs> I was like, holy crap. All right. It'd be amazing if this was a talking fish. Like, oh, hey there. The secret's oh, over there. That. One, oh my god, one of those ones where you can record a voice in it and then it plays the voice back and then you just hear a killer. I have the codes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I killed Nick. <laughs> I'd be like, officer, the fish did it. Confess to me. <laughs> uh, not something Nick would have done back then. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Mm-hmm. Locker? Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Possible hiding spot. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. Man, oh. Bug certainly grew up faster than I realized. Bug never was the social type, just like me. Are we gonna talk about how those Nick Legos gone, I guess are we so both big. lost our best friend. Huge! What the those fuck are, are those? Massive Legos. <laughs> those are Plegos. Plegos. <laughs> They're Duplos. Yeah. Those are the big ones. He always so. kept his favorite rod in this special, ready-to-go bag to protect it. You don't. Say. Oh, so if it's not, if it's there, then something else is in here. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Time to break the lock. Possible hiding spot to your left. The fish. Look in the mouth. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh. It was almost in the mouth. It was almost in the mouth. <laughs> What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. In the mouth, in the mouth, in the mouth, in the mouth. In that fishy mouth. Oh, look at the unicorn. I know. Unicorny. Also, did she huh? come here? And she's like, I'm so mad. Also, I want a soda. Now we get a soda. Joke's on you, kid. <laughs> Idiot, kid. Okay, weapons. Hold on, oh. is that? Hold on, that note, is that the voting system for this game? <laughs> Did he? <laughs> oh That's my god. That's what it looks god. like. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. We can talk about these drugs? We can talk about all of it. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Shall I? Go for it. I'm interviewing Tyler, a man of few words in his mid-twenties and heavily tattooed, about the place he lives and why he's here. It's cold enough that I regret not bringing a second jacket. His hands, however, are not shaking because of the cold. This is his seventh relapse. On his second relapse, he lost his girlfriend. On the fourth, his family. The one after that, he attempted to rob his parents' home, but was instead beaten nearly to death by his father. It's not like I wanted to hurt him. I just needed money. I felt so bad, I thought I was dying. My parents' place was the only place I knew for sure there was some crap I could sell. Dad caught me, tried talking to him, but it whooped my ass. Beat me with a lamp. I don't blame him. I didn't fight back. I was too ashamed. I needed a whooping. I still need a whooping. Lynette Branham, 52, with graying hair. Oh, 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 oh. Looks on with compassionate eyes. Lynette is the one that owns the land and sets the rules. She is judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to deciding who stays and who goes. This place is called The Cove. When the local mine closed, a lot of people found themselves out of work and some of them had no place to go. 
Drugs and crimes made them fall into the patterns desperate people often fall into. And Lynette found some of them camping out on her property. She let them stay as long as they followed two rules. No stealing and no fighting. Though she's had to kick a lot of people out over the years, it's not always permanent. In fact, she just let one of them back in. He doesn't want to be named, but he has a lot in common with Tyler. A bad relationship with his family, a mother with her own drug abuse issues, and a history of violent offenses. This young man explained to me why he came back. I can't make it out there, you know? Like, everybody's hassling me, and I'm just, like, over here trying not to hassle myself. He has trouble staying still, and looks ready to keel over at any moment. Yet, he also has a depth to him that's striking. I was, like, sober for, like, half a year once, and I can't remember the first time I drank. Broke into my ma's liquor cabinet when I was, like, five. Some people see this place and imagine the same old story of hillbillies in the mountains. And yet... That isn't what this place is. It's a community. They're all drifters lost in the flow of life with nowhere else to go and a desire to be better. Lynette shakes her head as he finishes up. She'll let me stay, he says. I ask him how he knows. Well, she'd have to like come over here and, and tell me to get out right then, he answers. It's true. Lynette lets him stay as long as he promises to try again. She has a lot of patience. You have to! she tells me after the young man goes to lie down. Everybody has their own way of dealing with the pain. The path to mistakes comes in lots of forms. Some of them pretty invisible. Unless you look for it, we all stumble sometimes. Most people take a few tries to get back up after being knocked down. If someone isn't there to help, then they'll fall back over. The cove gives me hope. So, obviously we're going to end up here at some point during the story, but more importantly... For sure. I think... I think if this is a normal video game, probably mm. the M Jones mom might be the path of how we get there, right? Like, we know mm. of a place that maybe she can, like, get some help. I don't know. But we all know this is cold cult. Come on now. Come on now. We're going to get there, and it's going to say the cove, and we're going to wipe off the V and the E, and it's going to be an A and L. We'll be like, the <laughs> hole! Ooh! It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Do you think... Do you think... Um She's, like, accepting people onto her property that are, like, down on their luck and then sacrificing them to the coal god. I mean, obviously, yes. Of course that's what's happening. <laughs> I mean, Cult. come on. Cult. Come on. Cult. Cult. Nick was trying Cult. to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. Girl's 11! She's very 13. smart. She's 13! Well, whatever. Who knows how young kids are these days. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? That's cause Kathy is doing drugs. These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Probably swiped them off of her. Like to, to keep John her from wasn't taking just them. Acting up. Yeah. Kathy has a problem. Um, yes. We found that out from the drugstore. Ooh, the calendar. The slow zoom out when you click on something is, like, weirding me out. D wants to talk. Uh-oh. My mom... My yes. mom sent me... Did she send yes. me a photo? <clears throat> if she did, I it need to... It literally is, my phone is a brown rug. It's just... This is... It's this... It's this brown. It is that... It is so tan. It's so tan that it, like, is white on the screen. It's such a tan <laughs> rug... Wait, is it just like, is it like burlap? What is that? I don't, is I mean, it an outdoor rug? No, it's an indoor rug, but it's like, it has a pattern. Uh, but it just, it's perfect for coffee spills. She's like, do you want it for the office? I'm like, eh, I don't know that we need it. It's beige. Here's what your, here's what she's got to do. Okay. Tell her, you tells her she gets a cry cut machine. She I'm finds not, a quote. She, I'm not she really do that. No, listen, I'm not getting, listen, mm, mm. listen, <laughs> listen. No. She gets. She listen. She gets a cry cut machine. I'm not doing. She this. finds a quote she really likes. Live, laugh, love. You know the drill. No. She She, doesn't, she, she never makes. Do no. Nope, hold on. No. Listen. Listen. <laughs> listen. She 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 prints it out. Has it cut out vinyl stickers? Okay. She puts the outline from the vinyl sticker onto the rug. She buys her some spray paint. Okay, you with no, me? No. Buys her some spray paint. I don't think this is going to happen. Mm. 
She paints it. She paints it. Big bang boom. She's got a rug that says live, laugh, love, or what have you. If I went into my house and my parents had a rug that said live, laugh, love, I'd be like, <laughs> what did you do with my parents, you body snatchers? Where did where are my real parents? You clones. <laughs> You evil twins, what have you done with my parents? <laughs> I would what never believe idea? that. Wait, 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 wait. Does this, does this... <laughs> <laughs> does this rug look stained? No, How what? How stained is this rug? It, it's my parents' it rug. It, there's not a stain upon it. Okay, <laughs> here's a chance. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't wait for this. Go on. No, there's... It's, it's not worth it. I'm just... <laughs> it's just <laughs> what? <laughs> I already... You know what? I may be wrong. This may... AU Dodger may start be taking over. You two may have combined, like, the movie The Wall. Fuck. How incredible would it be if it was dirty, though? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean how incredible would it be if it was dirty though <laughs> you put a big stencil on it and you only clean it what the shit are you talking about <laughs> What if it was really dirty, but you only cleaned inside the stencil? And then you just kept it dirty, except for that one spot. Yeah! And then anybody who came in would be like, Wow, that's such a fancy rug! No, they wouldn't! They'd be like, they This rug stinks! <laughs> what is... But they don't know! They don't realize. It's all dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yep, alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at this damn calendar and pretend you did not try to convince me to dirty a rug in order to put live, laugh, love on it. <laughs> no, I don't want you to do that. I want your mom to do it. <laughs> oh, no. right. And you know my mom, who when we went out to dinner, she was like, straight vodka, please. You know my mom, you know my mom is gonna be like, live, laugh, love. You know, it's my mantra, live, laugh, love. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> it has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. D wants to meet. Gotcha. No, I saw that. What? Doesn't it say talk on the thing? It says D wants to talk on the calendar. Well, he wants to meet. He's changing evidence now in his own mind. Uh, this note is the most important thing, I think. Yeah, that pan is worrisome. I'm worried like something's about to happen. What? Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? What? This is how we this is how we get into his case. I bet you. Remember caterpillar. Into, into his fishing case, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what this means though. Well, let's go look at it. Here's the thing, it is an Xbox controller, by the way. It has Xbox controller colors. All right. I think I went through everything here. Huh. Found clues. There any uh, and there's nothing else, huh? No other images or things to use or we got everything from here. This picture probably. Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. There you go. That's the key. It is B A X B Y. Nice. B A X B Y. All right, I'm gonna trust that you remember that. B A X B Y. B A X B Y. B A X B Y. So I think we don't need anything else from that. So let's. Uh oh. 
just gotta figure out the connection between Nick's note and this lock. B A X B Y. Hell yeah. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> Baxby the coal god. Everyone's in on it <laughs> oh now. Oh my god. Baxby. Baxby the coal god. Okay, we got Cashola. From D? That's straight up We drugs. got pills Opioids. from D. From D? Nick, were you looking into <clears throat> drug trafficking? Well, that's how you get your ass killed, that's for sure. Cash. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. That is sad for the journalism industry of West Virginia. I was going to say, wait, how it's much is in much. there? Yeah, that's like maybe a couple thousand. You're telling me in a decade? Uh, okay. Uh-oh. Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Oh, boy. Are you also worried that somebody's about to sneak up behind us and hit us with another rock? They keep showing that angle, and I'm... Yes, of course I'm worried. This is bad news. All right. So we have Richard Steinfeld. Uh, Richard, early 30s. Twitchy, even when sober. High, strong, and obviously disliked by the Cove. We are going to the Cove. Uh, asked yeah. not to be named in his article because of his father who runs a shipping company. Smarter than he looks, or as dumb as he acts. So to say both 127 still using. Who's the dealer? Tyler, Lynette, JR, Kayla, Dickie. Richard is Dickie. Uh, it's a nickname. Dickie, D, sold drugs to Tyler. Found out who his supplier is. Okay. So this is Tyler. So this is Dickie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tyler, mid twenties, sees himself as the cove's protector. Very defensive of Lynette. Tyler's interview with Anna was heartbreaking. He was bad off, so bad in fact, that I was legitimately surprised to find him alive the next time I visited the cove. He certainly wouldn't have been the first member of the group to be claimed by an OD in the middle of the night. Very aggressive. Been out of jail for most of his life, usually for assault. Don't antagonize. Clean since interview. Where did he get his drugs? Dickie. Keeps asking about Anna. Uh, interesting. So, Richard is Dickie. This guy is Tyler. No, Tyler's, Tyler is Dickie. It says right here, Dickie. Richard is Dickie. It's a nickname. Oh. Oh, God, I got confused there. Sorry, I'm still coming back down to earth from the whole rug thing. No, I get it. I get it. So this guy is Dickie. Dickie is giving him drugs. Right, but he's clean now. Or at least he was clean last time. Yeah, this guy sold drugs to this guy. Right. And he's into cooking. And there's Justin. JR, interviewed by Anna, but didn't make it in the article late 30s, not personable ex minor. JR has been living on the road, working wherever he can as a handyman, and when he came to Basswood, a miner. After the mine closed, he was arrested for drug possession, staying at the cove now that he is out. Didn't have anywhere else to go. Keeps to himself, trying to get clean, but it's an ongoing process. From the Midwest, Michigan, took up smoking, trying to replace other habits with less bad ones, hasn't worked. JR equals Justin Reynolds. Collects hubcaps, has a Winchester in his truck, used, uh, to, he's used to living in his truck, I guess. Rolls his own cigarettes, taught me how. Still uses occasionally, loves camo. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So what is the, we are choosing a person? No, I think we're just reading about them currently. I mean, it says, but it's like, choose. So if I back oh. out, what is the objective here? I don't know. I mean, it seems like Dicky is the problem. So who's D? Dicky, this guy, right? It has to be. Right. Because this is Jr. And this is uh, Tyler. So this is Dicky. Right. If that's what we're supposed to choose, yeah, it's like who is D? Then mm -hmm. yeah. Richard. A.K.A. Dickie. A.K.A. D. 
Looks like I found who I was looking for. So and that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dickie. Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dickie set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Mm, let's go. Should we take her or should we... Oh, I mean, yeah, I, th I think... I think either way we're both going. I think I'll arrive soon as if you still have stuff you want to do at the fishing spot, maybe. Sure. Let's let's go. That's fine. Yeah. Mm, yeah. What are what are we typing? These long shots are so worrisome. Right? Someone's watching us, dude. I don't like it. We just nodded a little bit like we know someone's watching us. I don't like it. Hmm. I'll take the achievement. Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two doing? Woman. The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. I'm just gonna show them do all this. That makes sense. Yeah. The Cove is a wonderful Shh. place. A sort of commune. Lynette, who runs it, she lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex gang members, and you'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. So yeah, like Jr. Right? How should we so handle next miner? Yeah. Uh, do whatever it takes. Shit. Hmm. I don't know. I would say. Wait. What was her question? How should we handle Dicky? Oh. I mean, if we believe that he was an informant to Nick. Mm -hmm. He probably wasn't the one who killed him. We're just trying to find information, right? I mean, it sounds like a play by ear. Thing, then. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. You and I are going to figure something out together. Don't worry. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> Oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful and look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lion's den. You have options here. Real life isn't as clear as the world in your head. You nope, got enough information, enough. idiot! Uh -oh. What's enough? Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. It do. 
They won't get away with they it. They won't get away with it. It's the knowing they might get away with it. The lie they made up being seen as true that just burns a hole right through me. Yeah, you're right, I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by burglars. And now we're riding sh That's not fair. Shut up. Sam. Well. I, I'm sorry. Uh, I just, I didn't mean it that way. Don't. Don't take all of this out on me. So you're just going to keep telling me off. Disregard my advice. Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. <laughs> Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 Oh my god. What if he's actually just gone for the rest of the game? <laughs> I don't even, I mean, like, clearly there was a balance there we should have maintained, but it also felt really rude to ignore the person who's real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the person who actually exists, it's a little rude, but whatever. You know. Sam, you sure you want to keep going? Oh, boy. Uh. Not really, but I have to. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure, but we have to, right? Like, that's a good answer. Yeah. Not really, but it's not like I have much of a choice. Sam, if you need to take a moment. No, let's, let's do this. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? I'm Sam. Do we go? I mean, yeah, we could just introduce ourselves. She said to be careful, right? And, and politeness is part of carefulness. Yeah, I don't know. Hey. I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? Oh, yikes, okay. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him, or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? This guy hit us with, like, stone cold. He hit us <laughs> like, he's like, it doesn't matter. Um, what? Let, Aunt, let what? Anna do the talking. Yeah, let Anna do the talking. Absolutely. It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah. I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay. But be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. Really? We're just on our own? All right. After the whole, like, they don't like outsiders. Okay. You seemed like a really good shield for us, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, wow. All right, well, look at this bear. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? I mean, once you've done an <clears throat> owl and a fox, you might as well do a bear. It's true. Woo, look at this one. This one's amazing. That's an incredible piece of artwork. Oh, yeah. Hello. She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Ow! Watch it. The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Why are you I like this, Sam? Fair enough. <laughs> I'm Kayla. What do you want? Uh... Boy, do we just be like, I'm looking for Dicky? I don't know. Like, is there value in in being like, oh, I see you're a a, a woodworker? 
Maybe? I don't know. Uh... But there's also like, I mean, people might just want you to say what it is you need to say and then go, right? Let's let the chat decide. Sure. Chat decide our fate. Start poll. Go. What is our fate, chat? Give me time to respond to my mother. <laughs> You're like, uh, mom? What? Forty-three seconds. Twelve seconds. Okay. Oh, like they everyone, want to talk. They want to talk about the wood. Everyone wants to talk about wood. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So shall it be. So shall it be. You seem to enjoy wood sculptures. You have to be an idiot not to. You create <laughs> something out of nothing and then turn it into something else. That's oh, as close to. Oh real my god! Magic I just realized what her neck tattoo is. So, it's incredible. Are you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dicky. Don't know where he is and don't care. It might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Hmm. Quad bike thing? Loud. Goes off road. Has four wheels. Makes you look Definitely like the asshole. person who was in Occasionally Anna's house. Gasoline and yeah. Because she said he ran out of the camp. house and then drove off Tyler with like a weird noise. Yep. Auto, right? Well, mm -hmm. I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. It could still be here right now. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. I'm just snooping. Uh oh, what the hell? Didn't expect that. Didn't expect to see that. Possible hideout. She fits uh, right in. Uh, Anna always fits right in. So that's uh, looks ancient. Probably lived in it most of her life. Oh, what were you gonna say? I need to find out where he's hiding. I don't Dickie's remember. Hiding. He's here somewhere. Tire swing. Again, like another perfect vista. Yeah. Probably meant for hikers. So there's that guy. I'm not going to talk to his ass. He's rude. Cabin. Sure, food. They seem pretty proud of this place. Not what I was expecting. Maybe we should go up in here. Yeah, why not? So this is where they make food. Interesting. We got a fridge and a TV and everything. Nothing seems to be clickable, but they got everything. Okay, so this is Camo Guy. With his bucket Here of we don't call 911. A classic sign. Does he get mad if I look in his... If I saw... You know what? I'm going in. No, just do it. Yeah, just do it. Hunting knife letter... Ooh, boy. Guess that explains how we ended up here. Dear Mr. Reynolds, I regret to inform you West Virginia Coal Inc. filed Chapter 7 bankruptcy three days ago following a series of expensive lawsuits and fines that have brought about an untenable financial situation. Consequently, your current position will be laid off in all company. Operations will cease by the end of the week. I'll pay back 
or all back pay and paid sick leave will be properly paid out. Insurance claims will continue actively th through until the end of the month, but will then cease. From Morton. All right. Well, we know that he is uh, going to be the guy who's mostly firearms and erotica. Nice. Nice. All right. So he's not going to be helpful at all. Uh, we'll talk to him, but he's going to not be helpful. I'm going to try and be real nice about this, but I don't expect him to be like a friend. This is, yes, yeah, so this is JR. Now that's a man that wants to be left alone. Should we leave him alone or get information? Um, I don't know. It's definitely, he's definitely not going to like us, dude. Yeah. Is this the only... This is it, huh? Uh -oh. Dickie could be that? here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. What? Okay. Well, there's like more There's like more buildings up there and stuff. Is there? I need to find out where Dickie's no? hiding. Yeah, yeah see, somewhere. like, you can see there's another one, but I guess we're not supposed to go up there. So. Right. Yeah, I can't see that. Hmm... The only I guess, person yeah, to talk, talk to is this, talk to this guy. Yeah. yeah. Tyler set himself up nicely. <laughs> Man, that's a couch. Hey, Tyler, we've talked. You seem talkable. A guy too. who wants everyone to know he's ready for a fight. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. Uh, where's Dicky? <laughs> I don't know. Like, do we hit him with I the? Mean, tell me how you know Anna. He know. We know how he knows Anna. We know how he knows Anna. Yeah. Why do you end up here? Seems like kind of. We don't know this guy. <laughs> we just want to like straightforward. Where's Dicky? Sure. He might appreciate that. Right. Maybe. Just tell me where Dicky is, and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So be oh, for our we know he has a trailer. Mm -hmm. I will not be doing that, Bess. <laughs> Got your Bess, mm. uh, Wink. All right, so the clue Clock's we gave ticking. away... Cops will start looking for me soon. Is that he said there so was a trailer? Dickie's in one of the trailers. Yep. Yeah. That narrows down my search. I'm getting there. Possible Just need hideout. A bit more info to close in on Dickie. Okay, so there's two different places to look, I guess. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. That was the, okay, the let's, possible Let's hideout. try the one. Yeah, let's try this one over here, since it's Dickie could down be here. here but I right. need to be oh. sure. We need oh, to right. uh, probably talk to Lynette, maybe. Mm. Unknown she woman. definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. <laughs> what? That much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? God, everybody fucking hates us. Well, I mean, I mean <laughs> kind of a douche, I guess. Kind of a douche, yeah. Um. Uh, why did Nick come here? Because the other guy was like, yeah, we hung out with Nick a few times. So, like, she definitely talked with Nick. 
Yeah, I mean, and let's that get way, to it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. That way it's not like, where's Tyler Dickie? Said it's came like. Here before. What did he want? He took an interest in my people. He wanted to know their stories. Such as? Sam. Well, the long, sad stories most people do not want to hear. We all stumble during our lives. Knowing how we fall and how some make it out can provide guidance for the future, don't you think? I want to talk about X. I want I want to X this. Yeah? Yeah, do it. What about opioids? Do you say anything about that? There are no drugs here, Samuel. To stay, you must remain clean. <coughs> oh, they give it us multiple options. Bless you, um, bless you. Do you want to talk about Anna's article? Sure. I read Let's the article the Anna wrote about yeah. you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. You never have any trouble with anyone. No one takes advantage. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. Why do you, why do you, what? What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here, and even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? I did, yeah. Hold on now. He's generous on the donations? From a cult? From a coal cult? Hmm. I don't know that we need to ask about the donations, though. Do you think it matters? I don't think it matters. We, we wanted to know where Dickie is. She said that he's on the outskirts, so we know he's yeah. probably up there somewhere, right? right? Yeah. It'll Hello. Do. I don't know. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. So Dicky lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. Mm. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dicky's got to be in one of these places. Ooh, we didn't look at this one. <laughs> Oh, this is like. Really? They're gonna. They're gonna. He's in there? How do we possibly figure this out? It's not that one. That one's too close, I think. That's too close. And that's too close, right? That one's at least like you can't see it. This one is isolated, though, for sure. Comparatively? I guess, I guess that's true. Comparatively, yeah. Okay, yeah, go for it. Oh boy. No quad. And it's right next to another mobile home. Oh, it's never mind. Here. Whoa. So we need to find a quad. Oh, it's right there. There's the quad bike. Literally right there. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. How does one do that? You just go up the hill. They're gonna let me. Oh, I only know Lord. you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here however you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Am I looking for trouble, yeah, man? I'm not even looking for trouble, man. I'm not even looking for trouble, man. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Let's just do that. I was wondering if there's another... Hey, I don't want any trouble. Just... Sorry. I should kick your ass out of principle. Hey, man. This guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. Oh, my God. His tattoo says, drink, fight, fuck. I kept trying to read it, and these two I'm, I, want to reach I don't know if I'm happy or sad that I finally was able to. Career. Yeah, I mean, that's what's on my parents' rug. So I saw that right away. <laughs> the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned yeah. to me. Right. But I still need a place to Now, if you had a dirty... All right. Now, right dude, follow me here. Cabin stands okay. right Okay, yep. Camp. 
Far Follow me for here. For them to not notice me. Yeah. Close what if you had a dirty rug? They come back. Okay. Be my best shot. And then you got a stencil. All that remains is to okay. Out yes. The and then you clean the stencil. Okay. Yes. And then when people went in your house, that's what it said. What if the rug was already clean, and then what? in dirt? Yo, that's why you're better you at this put, than me. That's why. Then and then no, 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 no. And then you put a stencil on there that says "Drink, Fight, Fuck." And you grab some bleach, so the whole thing, it's all clean, but it says drink, fight, fuck in bleach letters. Right, and then when people ask, why did you bleach that one spot? And you say, well, that's where the drinking, the fighting, the fucking happens. I got to keep it clean. Yes, right. Exactly. Right. Oh, that's why you're better at this than me. That's why you're the more creative one. I get it. <laughs> all right, uh. so we have to distract them is the plan. We have to get them from there to over to this side of the camp. And I don't want to like burn down this girl's tent. No, uh, that would be terrible. That would be so sad. All right, so we need to find clues. We're investigating. Statue, add clue? With all the flammable lacquer and varnish. Oh, that's right, it was just me. This fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. A giant flaming bear? I just need to work bear? out the exact details. You think they're not gonna be like? I bet it was it was that guy. <laughs> yeah. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. You need to account for that. All right, so we shouldn't do that. These shavings would be perfect kindling. Yeah, if we set that on fire, it's gonna go like, whoosh, right? That's bad. Mm. That's bad news. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. This is a ter- we're in the woods. This is such a fucking varnish. awful idea. Can's empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. Yeah, this is no other- we haven't idea. even looked around. This is a I terrible get the idea. Fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. What the shit? This is a terrible idea. The Promethean tradition, pre-Socratic philosophy. Pre-Socratic philosophy. Dog-eared and well-read. Yep, we'll just look at this poor woman's phone. Yeah, why not? I saw this picture in Ethan's bar. <gasps> it's his sister! Guess I know who's been cut out. Oh. Holy shit! Oh, wow. Should we, like, say a thing? Yeah, wait. Can, where is she? Let's talk to her. She was. Yeah, I was about to say she was. Uh oh, what is this? Clue. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. What? That's the plan? Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. What the hell? It's deep enough. Could squeeze in here. What is this man's... Our mind palace is so flawed right now. She said this place could go up like a bunch of kindling. No other option. Are you serious? Are you Ethan's sister? We have to ask. I have to ask. We have to ask, yeah. You're Ethan's sister, right? Was his sister. How do you stop being someone's sister? He tried to make every decision in my life. The same as the rest of my old family. Though Ethan was by far the most suffocating. I didn't like who I was when I was around him. I didn't like either of us. So you two don't ever talk to each other anymore? Not really. Well, the last time we did, I ended up coming here. Maybe was his sister was harsh. You can tell him we've talked. If you gotta. It's probably time I leave. Yeah. Hey, you're probably right. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go burn down all of your hard work. Yeah, I mean, like, hey, keep on whittling. You're gonna need that strength to, uh... To deal uh, with the emotional scarring you're about to experience. Yeah. Mm, I can look. Lord. She won't like how this goes down, but it's the only way. Why, Why do we keep is it saying the only that? Way? Why is this the only way? Uh, yeah, why can't you just make woodpecker sounds with your mouth? Yeah. Like woodpecker, like Come on, uh, Sam. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have the to find The whole forest could go down. Fire out with. Why are we creating... Why are we trying to stop them from putting out this fire? I don't understand. Oh, are we done? No, because our mind palace isn't at blue. What are we missing? What are we missing? Um, like we've there. only so far found one way that they could put out the fire, so it probably wants us to find a couple more ways they could put the fire out. Um, I agree. Is that a big water tank right there? Where? You see that? To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left, right there. I don't know what this is, but there's nothing there to click on. Okay. Uh, is there anything by this guy? Uh oh Van trunk. I there. saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. Oh. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. Oh my god. Do you, th do you think this is totally different if we have need, our twin? But I won't be able to do it by myself. Do you think our twin is like, I hey, I have help. some other ideas? <laughs> <laughs> I... I'm gonna wager you're correct. <laughs> Your twin's like, you're are you literally burning down going, a forest? Literally going all over the place like, well, <laughs> there's literally no other way. This is the only way to do it. We can't do it any other way. I bet you money if we come here and we're on good terms with our twin, he's like, hey, here are four different ideas. Let's find out the best one. <laughs> He's in our head right now, like, arson? That's the idea? That's the plan? How do we hide his keys? Um, bucket of sand is another way they could put the fire out, by the way. I bet you. Not a concern. No. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. Yeah, okay. idiots. Wow, goddamn, my bad. So we need to find, was it his keys? Someone's keys. Oh, my thing disappeared. Are we good? Uh, I don't know. I guess go over to the bear and see if the bear is like... Usually we have to work this stuff out in our mind palace, right? Yeah. We do like a... Um, you know, the uh, Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes movie? Yeah. We do that kind of shit. Like, here's the plan. Execute. We're burning the forest down because it's the only way. It's the only way. Mm, maybe it's... Hey, uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? We're gonna oh my God, yes. burn this please, thing down. Please get her opinion, please. <laughs> please. I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't gonna be any better. They look after their own. 
I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? Oh my no. god, I can't believe it. I need to create a distraction to get to Dickie. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. Okay. So, the first step is we need to get... Step one. Oh, that... It's definitely her right here. All right, step one. Um, break the water hose is step one, right? That's what it showed in order. Um. Right, break the water hose. Right? Am I crazy? I thought it was... No, in the... In his, like, recreation, it was Van Keys first. Was it? Hide the van keys. Fire extinguisher. Tyler will immediately run to his van to get the fire extinguisher. If he does get it, the fire won't burn for long. You're right, so that's first. Then... That's where I come out. So it's keys, and then she breaks the hose, and then we light it on fire. Yeah, I don't have an option for her right here, so she goes there. Uh, what should I do? Hide the... Yeah, so she does that. She goes here. Okay. No, then. she'll be over by the hose by this point, and then you light the statue on fire. First step. The statue goes up in flames. This will get everyone's attention. So that's after she hides the keys. Yes. This is after she's broken all of the ways for them to put the fire out. Okay, but this is... I the... Okay, so what is the... Usually, what's happened before is it gives me a step two. Lynette will go for her hose. She's right next to I think to we it. just go Definitely to all of the circles on the ground, because those are the choices, right? So, so we're saying, does she immediately go to break the hose, or does she hide the keys first? And this is like, how does it end? Um, once alone, right? Once I'm alone. Where do I hide? I think in the closet. Because we're still standing then. You're right. But I guess behind the curtain, we're also still standing. And we won't be able to see. And see neither happens. of these situations we'll be able to see, really. There's the fire. She runs back to there. Oh, she's able to grab the hose. Does it work? Okay, so the hose is going to be a problem. So let's... So change this to break the water hose? Break the water hose. Hey guys, there's a fire. So she's going to run there. She goes she's back to go get back the to get the hose. Because she says get the extinguisher. The hose isn't going to work. She's going to run over here to get the extinguisher. Sam, what are you doing here? Okay, so yeah. we can't hide in there. Because that's where the shovels and stuff are. Oh, right, right, right. So, then I think we should hide behind the curtain like you were saying. Yeah, under the table just seems too, like, obvious. <laughs> It's weird. It's a weird place like to Like, we're just out in the open. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then we leave when we're just alone. I think that works, right? 
So I, think so I think this is it. I think it's we the water hose because she goes there first. She calls for help. No one's gonna find us over here because everyone runs through. We wait, and then once we see we're alone, this, they've all run there. Then we make our way. Let's I see if let's see if our our fake us is able to run. Look at our look. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. We're running right now. Yeah, we're good. Okay, great. We made it. Okay, we're good. Let's do it. They need to get the stuff out of there. That'll do it. Nice. No one will see me get to Dicky. I need to time everything carefully. Only get one shot. Better not make me do this shit. Oh my god. I've never needed a cutscene more in my life. I need you to. Sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. He's about to burn this entire camp down. Run! Get out of there! Get out of there! It's on fire! Be right there. Just hold on. Uh, hurry! Hurry! Oh my my fire is burning! Kayla, calm down. It will be okay. I so hard on it. I feel so bad. We, oh, did, right. we did it. We did it. Do you trust me? I'm about to do something terrible. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. What the hell? I've been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh, no. Look. I'm real sorry. I clocked you and shit. Clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was going to happen, man. I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by. That's all. I just want to take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him for just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was going to put so much together. He was going to pin us to the wall. Yeah, you know, just I don't have talking. time. What did you steal? Oh, never mind. His notes about his article about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to, or I was gonna be next. You gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon, and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him, everyone knows him. Oh man, I'm fucked fuck now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on. Just let me go. Please, I already told you everything. No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me. I'm begging you, man. Let me go. You're not going anywhere until you tell me what happened. So? Oh, hell, man. Declan made me set up a meet with Nick, all right? I, I thought they were just gonna talk his shit. Nick freaked out when he saw Declan. He, he tried to bail. But Declan caught up and hit him behind the head. Then Nick dropped, man. He dropped like that. Declan said he didn't mean to. He said it was an accident and shit. 
He killed Nick. I didn't know, man. You gotta believe me. I never wanted... Man, he didn't... He didn't hey, say... Hey, asswipe! Should've known. Damn firebug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Sam, we have to get out of here. Shut up. Yeah, leave. Your Just leave. Ain't better. Come on. You fucking coward! Someone give me my rifle! Well, all right. Well. Well, all right. We know who killed Nick. Good news is it rained. Thank God. It doesn't make any sense. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you can just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, he'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This isn't a puzzle. And you're dealing with... No one else is gonna die. You can't promise that. It's unfair to think you can. You don't know what's gonna happen. I, I might let him... But we're the only ones who could possibly bring some closure... Might let him talk next time. If it escalates like last time, I'm worried that I'm going to start yelling yourself, at her. Okay? The fire worked, but people could have gotten hurt. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. It'll probably be something quiet, simple. Make it look like you killed yourself. Took too many pills. Who questioned that? You're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the oh, very no. real oh, dangers. No. Oh no. You have to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just, just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, oh my god. It was Sam. the wrong time Sam. to do this. Sam, there's a turret. Stop. Stop. Sam, stop. 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 I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. Damn it, of course. The moment that you're like, yeah, I'll listen to him next time. Oh no, oh no, what is... Oh, we gosh. need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here. I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! No! Ah! I'm in control of my own mind. Where are you? Oh, hell no. Can you no. hear me? Oh, hell no. I'm getting through this. You got this. You, you, got this. you got this. You got this. I'm not getting chased by some monster man. Oh, hell no, monster man. What? I got a feeling I'm not gonna like this. Okay, Ugh. do not freak out. You've been through this before. Yeah. It's fine. Ugh, I'm back in the same room again. Alright, so was it the exit behind me? Stick All to right. the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. We are in a maze. Oh, lovely. Okay. All right. Never go that going. way. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. If he'd have kept Question on going down that way, he would have gone straight to that castle. Okay. Name well. that film. Well, what was the line? If he'd have kept on going down that way, he would have gone straight to that castle. 
Uh, first off, it's Labyrinth. But second off, that's the line that you're going to choose from Labyrinth? Way. Yep. Because, of all because the lines? it's the point. It's the point where she's where she's like, don't go that way. Never go that way. And she's like, oh, thanks. And you find out if she'd have just gone that way, the movie would have been five minutes long. You're, I mean, you're right. All right. So, the, so basically, we're following the path that leads to the murder is what it's telling us. Okay. So instead of going this way, we need to go this way. Ooh. Okay. Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. Yep. Way? Way. Oh, no. What is that supposed to be? Oh, is that a fuel no. tank? What is that? A tree. So it was the fuel, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm losing control of my own mind again. I'm almost making it a habit. What is this? Are these bullets? What are these? Oh, drugs. Oh, drugs. Yeah, follow the drugs. Do anything. Just sit oh, damn it. Interesting. Well, that's the mom. Takes her back in hills and stares at the TV like a mom. So these are knockdown doors? This is neat as hell, by the way. This is super cool. This is not the right way, but that's cool looking. Okay, we found a I wonder exit. What's in store for me now? Oh no! Oh no! Oh lord! How do we know which one to choose? They're probably all the same. Uh, maybe. Now some are missing. And I'm back to square one. Hmm. Well, why was the one that I chose before? Maybe what? you go for whichever one is cracked the most. Maybe? No. Or maybe. I don't know. I was gonna say X marks the spot, but this one also looks like a check mark. I don't. I literally yeah. don't. Yeah. I don't. Hmm. Do you see anything that could be an indication? I was trying to figure out if like the exit signs were different, or if it said something instead of door. Try looking like on that wall. Is there anything that procs on that wall back there with nothing on it? No. Not at all. Okay. Maybe each wall is a separate thing. So each wall you have to go for a specific door. Cause see like each wall has one that's like fucked up. Yeah, this one, I went to that. So maybe we go to this fucked up one? Yeah, it's worth trying, right? I'm always starting from the same position and Shoot. looking at the same door. Okay. So maybe do the same door again? Damn it, Dodger, you are. Always tackle a problem head. Brilliant on. person. Of course. Oh, a did brilliant it. human being. This Thanks. is why you're the you're the better half of this duo. <laughs> no. We are we are two parts of a single brain cell. There's no running away from don't, it. Don't not like this. Don't don't bring <laughs> yourself down. Don't bring yourself down to my level. Alright, so. What is this? Oh, the mine collapse. Mm. Nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Ooh, boy. Here we All right. go. Dennis is murder. What do we know? Were we united together? What the hell? Clear. What's that? Mean? Oh, it means. Oh, this like clear choose. it away to clear the way. I see. Yeah. Oh. 
I don't understand the difference, I don't think. Um, it would probably be that that Declan killed Dennis, right? Right. So I'm trying to see if there's like a... Like, it literally looks like one is two people standing close and one is two people standing apart. Yeah. Oh, there's the gun in his hand. I see it. Oh, great. Yeah, this one. worried you think you know who Nick was Mr. Perfect give me a break you have no idea no one in this town does I don't need that right now <laughs> okay Oh, I oh. turned back on. What the fuck? You think that's the, uh, we gotta go back and hit it again? Maybe? I don't know. Just give me a break. I give up. Do I? Yes, oh, you I do. Guess. Yeah, I guess I do. So this wasn't the right way? Guess not. Maybe go. Is there something to see in there? Oh, this way. Derp -a -derp -a -derp. Oh, here we go. Oh shit! How to break in? Hmm. Oh, what time was it? Uh, it wasn't seven. That's for sure. Or almost. It. It has to be this then, right? Like it has to. Be. Yeah, it must be. How's it going? Nope, no. never mind. Nick and I. Mm, nah, don't want to see that. Just gonna keep going. They both deserve to be happy. Is that? What is that? A turtle? What the hell? It does look like a turtle. Hey, Joan. Sup? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Oh, this is Sam! Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being Wait. happy isn't everything. I don't Nick? think it I, is. No. What? I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be. Than to be happy. Here, I brought you something. But then, why would this be in our mind palace if we it's didn't so see clear. it ourselves? I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is, and that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. That's not Nick. That's not Sam. I think this is Kid Sam. Right, am I crazy? No. I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? Confirmed glasses guy is just us. You and me, Sam, we can do Side this. Note. Okay. What? Which one are you? Sam, where are you? Sam? Sam? Sam, where are you? Is that guy Sam, way out in front? Where Sam, you? where are you? Is it that guy? 
No. Whoa, okay. Can I not catch this dude? He's right there. We need to learn how to run in our mind palace. Right? I'm holding down the run. Oh, you did not just play that game with me, you son of a... Is he over there now? I mean, there's a bunch of them. Sam, come with me. I'm right here, I'm with buddy. You. Follow me. Okay. Okay. Follow me. Working on it. You and me, Sam, we can do this. Sam, come with me. Ooh, boy. Sam, come with me. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Shit. Oh, no. We have several scenes to choose from. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Oh, they're just scenes of him watching us. Quick, toss the ring. Make a joke. If you don't manage to save face, it's over. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Hmm. Tell her you want this. Be forward. She'll reconsider. If you don't, it's over. I think the the middle one is him. And this guy right here? Yeah. Listen, listen again. Listen to her. That's what he said earlier. Sometimes there's not a right yeah. thing to say. I agree. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry. I just I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? Damn. Like a dad. That's mm. right, you did it, yes. son. Well done, son. Don't leave me. Alone. Oh, I just figured out I what you were have talking a lot of about. Friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. What do you mean? What was I talking about? That that scene that oh my god, that the kid in the bed was young Sam. Yeah, it was like the dude talking. What didn't look like Sam. And it yeah, definitely wasn't Nick. Yeah, that's why I was Nick. confused. I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, it doesn't the look kid anything did... like us. Yeah, because the kid didn't look like Joan. So I was like, the kid, I think that was supposed was to us. be a, like a backstory. Right. Because at some point, yes. they have to reveal why we have another us, right? Like, it right. has to be there. But yeah, we need I assume, an answer. I'm hoping that it'll be, if the story allows it, that it would be a conversation that we have with Anna. Maybe? To, like, finally admit to her that, that this is something that has been going on with us for a long time, obviously. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Mm. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. Explain yourself to her. Or try to. As best you can. She deserves that. Isn't isn't that what I we think did? This one, I think. Yeah, isn't that what we like? I keep thinking like these are conversations we've had. I don't know if it's yeah. what he would suggest, but it's what we did for sure. Right. All right, I agree. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts, and I can't stay. Oh, this is the past. Now. None of that is my fault. I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. Yep, I do. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Upset children for breakfast. That was like a reverse kind of of the really thing we were doing. I don't know. Just like that. 
Not even an explanation for an old friend. Tell him we haven't the seen this scene before. Give him a few and he'll be fine. I mean, we really haven't seen any of these scenes except the first one. I think. Just the first one, yeah. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Apologize. He wants to know it's not his fault. Maybe tell him you'll call. What was the first one? Tell him uh, the reasons. Give him a few and he'll be fine. Nah, not that one. I think the last one. Maybe. This one over here? This one, yeah. Apologize. He wants to know it's not his fault. I don't think that's Maybe it. tell him you'll call. What was this one again? You don't think again? so? No, what was this one again? He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Is that the right one? Like, because uh, this this thing was it's like, definitely it's not, not your that fault. First one. I, I, all right, well, it's not that one. I don't think it's this one. Okay. Okay, so then yeah, trust your gut. this one, I think. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I, I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back. No matter where you go. Oh, all right. Great. Okay, great. I'll take a, I'll take a nod. I know you don't want to talk about it. Oh. Oh. The shit? This I know the kid. real game is here. The rest are just illusions. I have to focus. Oh boy. Oh boy. I guess just click one, yeah? There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus. Do you think this is it where like he's talking at you? Yeah. Yeah, I think that one. Yeah, the other one. No? That's it, it's everybody. Hmm, I thought for sure that would be it. Okay. Me too. They just want to put useless labels on it. Oh. Alright. So it was supposed to be associated with the dialogue they had. Interesting. Ooh, I love the floor! Mm, me too. Well, put useless labels on him. Maybe that's the key, the the reflection. That's why you smart. So it's not that. It's not that. That's looking up and looking down. I don't know if that's it. Standing and sitting. Maybe this is it? Either that one or the one on the bed, I think, maybe. Not that. Not that? Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Maybe the the middle one here. But it seems to so be like, like it's the exact same over, thing. But they're looking over two different shoulders. Hmm. Nah, okay. Maybe this, maybe one's looking up, one's looking down. Yeah. I mean, we've got two more shots, right? <laughs> Son of a... How are we... Okay. This seems like the same... How is that? You know what? We got to play. We played ourselves there. Could be good for him. Okay. Okay, the reflection is...
Oh, uh, can I pose? We were doing it wrong. We were thinking, find the differences between the two, right? But what mm. if the solution is they're both doing the, the same, same thing? Yeah. See them? They're both doing the exact yeah. same gesture compared right. to everyone else. And then the other one, the reason why I was like, oh, it can't be this one thing, right? Interesting. That one's a close second. Well, nope, never mind. He's nope. freaking out at the end. Oh, interesting. Does this one change? We almost got played there too. This one, I feel like we watched for a while and it seemed to be the same the whole time. All right, let's do it. Oh, all right, good work. You're right, because it's it's a mirror, right? Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know why we were yeah. like, oh, it's going to be different things. Because, like, they've highlighted throughout the whole game the differences between sure. the two sides of us. Not having a good time at school. It has trouble socializing. Now, what does that even mean? He's having some trouble making friends, that's all. He's always talking to himself, to his imaginary friend. Imaginary. I had one at his age. If you had real friends. He talks to himself more than he talks to other people. You should consider what the one teacher mentioned. He doesn't need remedial classes. They just want to put useless labels on it. They're not remedial. They're programs meant to help him with his social skills. You can be good for him. The advice is on. It's not going to be in some dunce class. You were there when no one else was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. Hmm. Okay. I'm ready. I wonder how long this is taking in for reals land. I would imagine a split second. Yeah, it's probably gonna be that. It's neat as hell, whatever it is. Woo, look at this! Yo, our mind is tight. Right? There's a mirror. Yo, that is beautiful as anything. That's so neat. Mm. That is cool as shit. It's so peaceful suddenly. This is where Thanos found one of those infinity stones, <laughs> I think. Hey. hey. Morpheus. Hey. <laughs> it's been a long road. I think it was always coming here. You know? You've opened yourself up a lot more than I expected. Especially to Joan and Anna. Huh. You're finally back on the right path. I believe some of the credit is mine. Uh... I'm trying. Yeah. I'm doing my best with what I have. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? Ooh, I like it didn't always feel like mm. me. 
Like yeah. That. We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human, and there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. Facts, not things? Yeah, what? I kind of like that. I kind of like, it's facts, not things I'm obsessed with. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what I've made up my mind would, would be. I don't either. And I don't want to do A. I feel like facts, not things, are what I'm obsessed with. I think that's what he's going to say, right? Hmm. Think? Yeah, let's go for that. Yeah. Facts. What? They're facts, not things. And they should matter to everyone. Yeah, well, they don't. They might not even matter at all. Tell Nick that. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even today, without you, I would still be lost in my own head, in my own panic. Well, technically, that's kind of the case right now. Still, I'll take the compliment. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. Okay. I mean, look, I know what I want to choose. I think this I know seems what obvious to me. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see what chat says. Real quick. I just okay. want to. Okay. Yeah. Chat, yeah. 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 Two choices. While you decide. The very first comment I saw was, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> there you not, go. How do you not pay attention? There's so much going on. Paid attention to the choices. Da -da -da. <laughs> da -da -da. All right, we have our wiener. That's what I was, was going to choose anyway. All right, mind. Yep. Palace. That was the obvious choice to me, as well. The truth is worth more than any of us. Damn society. Woo. Damn being happy. I was afraid you'd say that. Now I have to But you have you. to be you. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. But oh good luck. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, what? We've had him our entire lives, and he's just going to peace well, out this now? This ugly place when you can really see it. That's gonna fuck us up. Oh no. That's like a cool ass scene, by the way. Like right there, that's so neat. Mm. Visually, that's really cool. Okay. 
No well, idea what's about to happen. <laughs> no idea what we've just done, but okay. I leaned in so far into my desk for this. I was just like, like 3% camera. I was like, oh. Sam, we don't have time for this. Oh no. Oh, we don't see people as people anymore. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. Damn! Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck here's the question damn Do society <laughs> yeah but i oh man well that is insane i love this mm. oh man okay where the hell are we she that girl vanished i don't even know what <laughs> um wait chat how much longer is there in this game because it's 1 a.m yeah, what for is me. the what is the length left in this game Uh, I guess not long. I guess we don't have long. I guess that's it. We're like very close. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. If Declan arrives, he's going to see the car. He'll know someone is here. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Syringes, bottles. Basswood has been having a tough few years. Oh, I think I know where it's at. This is where we started, right? So I think I know mm. exactly where it's at. It's gonna be. Oh. Finally, pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. Oh, thank God, she's not a crystal. About you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I needed to clear my head. That's yeah, that's the truth. A great punny answer. I love it. It won't happen again. I'm here. 100%. I hope so. I need you right now. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. Um, let's look for the files. Yeah. Or we should I not alone? Those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. They keep showing us that little yellow Did thing on the pole. He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Emergency phone? Mm. The dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. Then oh, possibly right. over here inside this, right? This is what I was thinking before. The right. Food locker. The food locker, yeah. If it's in there. Maybe the lunchbox? Rotten in the lunchbox, food. yeah. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. What do you mean? Oh, literally right there. Oh my god. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Oh! Declan. Okay. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think.
man. Mm. I mean, we could ask why he became dirty. But... Maybe, yeah, maybe that's the why become dirty. Yeah, but we know why he killed why Nick. why kill Nick? Uh, well, we do know that. It was, yeah, he told us. Yeah. He was getting too close. But we don't what know why he got involved this with town. anything. Yeah. You don't know nothing about losing the reins. Simple things, breaking so bad, they just get more out of control until... Try busting your ass for people that don't respect you for just a cop's salary. I spent years serving this town. I actually believed in what I was doing, too. And then you murdered Nick. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. It turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. It almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? Mm. Mm. People trusted you, bro. Yeah, that's true. You were one of Basswood's best. People counted on you. Don't even try to give me that. I've given enough to those two-faced hypocrites. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. Well, I thought I had an option. Ooh. Oh, she got the gun off of him. Mind palace. Oh my god. So I guess if you if you choose twenty, you don't get to go into the mind palace. Uh, yeah, we lose it forever. Maybe. Yeah, we lose it forever. I have to think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick. He murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. <laughs> okay. Uh... To try going for his gun. But then we have to shoot him. <laughs> right. Well, we don't have to shoot him, but like, if we want to keep Anna from dying. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Was there something back here? I thought I heard something behind me, but I guess that's incorrect. Dennis? Declan came to tie up loose ends that night. Asshole, Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. Still, Still has, has it on him. him. You need to watch out. Oh. No good to anyone. Then I have two guns. Take yeah. it from me. Muley, it's time to give it your all. Don't underestimate Declan. He's stronger than he looks. Anna's got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll kill you both. Well, he's got no gun right now. We could rush him. Like, look at our body. I think we can. We can. Oh, well, I was gonna examine this really quick. I could oh, tackle yeah, yeah, yeah. Declan to get him off Anna. This is dangerous. I have to weigh my options carefully. No margin for error. 
So he has a gun on him for sure. If we he could... probably has a second gun, yeah. Oh man. Okay. If he Oh boy, if he If we go for the gun, he in that time can get to his gun, I think. Yep. Yeah, so we should not do that. If we throw Throwing a rock a... I don't know Throwing a means. rock isn't like a guaranteed. It's to disorient him. It's not guaranteed to like drop him though. If we rush to help, we can maybe at least grapple him so that he can't get to his other gun. And I don't. If we, I don't trust that if we throw that rock, we're gonna hit the right person. <laughs> right. I don't know. Um. I'm curious what chat thinks we should do. Mm, I think that idea. might be interesting. Yeah. Okay, let me really quickly go in again so you can see chat. And we'll do we'll do the three choices. I'm very curious what you think we should do. I don't know. I'll resume game so you can see it. But I don't know. Rush to help Anna. Someone said the rock is coal. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ten seconds. Okay, so everyone wants to rush. Can I tell yeah. you why I think that scares me? Why? Like, I don't, throwing a rock makes no damn sense, but rushing, if he has a gun on them, or on him, then I think it can be assumed that, like I know how movie tropes are, where like we get in on him and then he just shoots our ass, right? Like I-, I Right. But he's gonna have, if Anna's still got him, and we take advantage of this opening, he's gonna have no opportunity to grab it. Because we've established it's a hidden gun, right? It's not It's not in his holster. He already used the one in his holster. I honest to God don't know. I don't know. I feel like the rock choice is disorientation, right? The rush mm. is rush to help Anna, which is to like control him. The throw rock is disorient him. Rush to gun is to, like pull a gun on the man. I think gun. I do not think gun for sure. I, I disagree with gun as well. Um, but I also think rock isn't gonna do much. I would rush, but it's up to you. You're in the driver's seat. We have to confirm it, right? Like we have to confirm it, right? Yeah. It's not just gonna automatically, like, I mean. It's, yeah. Obviously it's not gonna let us see how it plays out and then be like, oh, oopsie doopsie, try a different way. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Oh, the vote is still on the screen, sorry. Stop poll. Um. Honest to God, I, like, I'm terrified that if we run to go help, that makes it worse. Like, I think if we can daze him, then we can take the gun rather than him struggle, right? Then my thought is the rock, you hit him in the head, and he's like, oh, shit. But it's throw rock. It's not smash him with rock. Well, I still think throwing is so, like, are we an experienced thrower? <laughs> like, I want to... Really? It's time, time to, to give, give it your all. Don't underestimate Deck He's stronger, He's stronger than, than he looks. looks. So I Anna's think. Got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You 
gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll, He'll kill, kill you both. I'm worried that that is him saying you will not, like, the two of you together can't even take him. But then like, what the fuck is a rock gonna do? Great disorienting only la Disorienting only lasts for so long. I'm thinking- Like, that's not a takedown. That's this is the gun is a no, and I think him saying is you can't, you can't grab him, but maybe if you can knock him down, then you can grab him. Okay, do rock. God, I don't. I'm so. You want to do rock? Is... Otherwise, you otherwise you wouldn't be thinking about it. I do want to do, do rock, rock, but I don't know what it means, Dodger. I do don't know what rock. it means. Then do it. Who fucking cares? Do it. Ah! Okay. Kidding me? That's it? This is my this is it? Oh Jesus. Well <laughs> Yeah, I mean they they also like I think made it pretty clear like we only get one shot at this, so I don't think they're gonna let us see how it how it goes down, you know? I have no idea what's about to happen, so F it. Let's go nuts. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Oh. Maybe think some more? Oh, so that's, that's, all right. Yeah. So it's, it's just... like, do the action. I can't mess with the gun or anything. It's literally just do it. Okay. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. My hope was that I could do more than one thing. Like, throw the rock then jump on his ass. Like that kind of thing. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Yeah. I was hoping that if you tackled him. <sighs> Damn! Okay. All right. So step two. What's next? Declan can't see me. I have to use this to my advantage. All right. She's alive. Okay, good. She's alive. I should strike him on his blind side. He did side. have the other He's gun. A surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Think, Sam. Anna's safe for now. I need to keep boy. it up. Oh boy. Declan might go for his gun. He's already got a gun. Uh oh, alright, let's look at all the things that are happening. Declan might continue going after Anna. Before we talk to everyone, this is us, huh? Mm. Declan might attack me now. Attack Sam? You don't have to fight, just leave. None of this has to ever hurt you again. I'm done running. Okay. This man's been like, you said you protect my girl. That's true. We did. That man is a monster. And he'll kill, kill you and my little girl as soon as spit. But he ain't dumb. If he uses his service gun, gun, it'd be traced back to him. And he's been covering his tracks so far. Interesting. You know, Declan's killed two people already. Put them in the dirt. But he kills for reasons, yeah? He wants, he wants to, destroy to destroy the evidence. evidence. Since your girlfriend has it. You better act fast, man. So we need to keep him focused on us. Yep. Okay. Oh boy, that is matching exactly. Yeah, what? Okay. Uh, attack Sam. If I can predict Declan's next action, I'll have a chance to get the jump on him. So I think it's attacks Anna because Anna's dad established he's not gonna rush his own gun because he's not gonna use it because it traces stuff back to him. And he's not gonna attack us because we don't have the evidence. So he's kinda he's gonna keep going for Anna. That's what that's what our two brain people told us, basically. Yeah, I think so. Alright. I just want to see what the dad says one more time. I think I think you're absolutely right. That man is a monster. 
Or he'll kill, kill you and my little girl as soon as spit. But he ain't dumb. If he uses his service gun, it'd be traced back to him. And he's been covering his track so far. Is that his service gun? The one on the ground is his service gun. The one in his hand now is the other dude's gun that he stole. So he's going to keep going after Anna with that gun, is what we're saying. I he's not going to bother going for his other gun. Yeah, this was design wise unfortunate. This uh <laughs> he's just this so situation blue. right here. Yeah. All right, so I think it's supposed to be B. He attacks Anna. I think I agree with you on this. It's going to give us a sec to confirm, right? Okay, so he attacks Anna. What do we do next? Oh shit. He attacks Anna, and then we hit him from behind. And then we come up from behind him, I think is what we're locking in next, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If Declan you got goes this. after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. Yeah, let's let's do this shit. Yep. Hell yeah. Give me the evidence now. You want to get shot? Wait. Here. Take it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. No, Anna's gonna go for that other gun and shoot this bitch. What if I do the wrong thing? She doesn't want to see another person die. She's gonna kill this guy. I have to stay focused. Account for all the elements at play here. We're doing well. I have to stay one step ahead of Declan and we'll get him. I could rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. That's not gonna happen. Nope. You have to save Anna. We dragged, dragged her into this mess. I dragged her into this mess. If you could distract Decker, Anna might have, have time, time to get the gun. Keep his eyes, eyes yes. on you, Sam. Best chance, chance to call for help. That big jerk's not stupid. He'll, He'll probably, probably keep an eye, eye on that phone. Hmm. So. I could try calling for help. From this position? Solid cover. I could get behind cover. Keep his eyes on us. If he's got one eye on the phone, us going for the phone is going to make him focus on us. And then Anna would have time to grab the gun, yeah? I guess? I, honest to God, don't know. Because Nick is saying make sure that he's still focused on you. Because at the end of the day, like... This is really his opportunity to either kill us or or leave, right? Because he's already, he's got the the evidence now. So we need him focused on us, like we're going to fuck with his plan somehow. So that his focus yeah. is, I need to kill Sam first, right? And that way. Anna can grab the gun and shoot this motherfucker. I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, let me see. What does, what does the chat, what do you think here? I'd love to know your thoughts. 
on this. Because this the gun that he has right now is Dennis's gun, remember? So this is the gun that he's totally down to shoot. <laughs> right. No, I get it. Cover will hurt the kid. The kid isn't real, guys. <laughs> the kid isn't there. We're imagining her. If we get behind cover, we're just making it easier for him to turn around and shoot Anna. If we go for the phone and Joan is taking the time to say he has his eyes on the phone because he doesn't want anybody calling for help, us going to the phone is definitely going to make him focus us. That's that's my argument. Going for the gun is active but stupid. Getting into cover is passive and unhelpful. Going for the phone is active and and at least like a little a little sly, I think. I mean, honestly, I don't I literally have no clue here. I don't know what is the right possible answer. I couldn't even tell you. Uh I I simply of these tried what is that? Uh, try to move the gun away. Dumb. We get shot. I guess I don't, but if we try to call for help, he's just gonna kill us. Like he, the same thing, same thing you were saying about his gun. He's just gonna shoot us in the back if we run, if we turn and run to the phone. He already has a gun on us right now, right? Am I crazy? He'll just shoot us in the back. But if we go for cover, he can just like go around the corner. I guess. I guess I don't understand. I just, if if we're saying that the, the two people in every scenario are giving us hints, Joan has made a point of saying he's watching the phone. And Nick made right, a point so, of saying, make sure he's watching you. So if we go to the phone. Right, right he's watching he's watching the phone. She said she's yeah. watching the phone and he said he's watching you. So if he's watching the phone, then maybe he's not watching us right now. We have to save Anna. We dragged, dragged her into this mess. I, I dragged her into this mess. If you could distract Ekra, Anna might have time, have time to get the gun. Keep his eyes, eyes on you, Sam. What if we just die? Sure, yeah. What if we're like, shoot me, do it. That ugly yellow phone is your best, best chance to call for help. That big jerk's not stupid. He'll probably, probably keep an eye, eye on that phone. Can I ask you a question? Hold mm. on, hold on, hold on. Was the guy who was over here this round that vanished? No, that was last round. Twinny, he no. showed up last round. All I know is you might be right. Here's you the, might, I, th maybe... I think you might be right too, which is, I don't know. Like maybe, maybe what, what Joan is trying to say or what the game is trying to say through Joan is he will be distracted keeping an eye on the phone. And so we'll be able to move in and not die. But I'm not, I'm not sure now, honestly. Uh, I was thinking about what the pre, when we talked to ourselves. He literally said, I'm not running away anymore. And now I really, even if he dies, now I really want to be like, F it, let's get this F it gun, <laughs> right? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, if you hide, he's going to follow you. If you go to the phone. The dog I, is I, not it, yeah. I, th I think you're right. I think the phone is the logical choice. I think it has, but I've also just like, <laughs> 
Oh. We're not trying to, we're not trying to, like it's already escalated, right? We're not, we're trying to just keep his eyes on us. Right, but in my mind, I think if we try to call for help, we get shot. If we hide, he just turns around and shoots Anna. Yeah. So I'm like, the only trying thing that I think is like, go for the gun, at least he'll be distracted enough that Anna can 100% get the gun and shoot him. I honestly don't know. Right? It seems like we charge him or we do something with the gun, and at least that way, he 100% gets shot instead of us turning and running. At least, at least we can... Right? I wish I could see your face I just right think, now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to be able it's, to like judge your perception. I'm I'm Atlas thinking. Um Atlas shrugging. The Like Why would Joan mention the phone then? Because the way she mentioned it isn't discouraging. It's just he's keeping his eye on the phone. And Nick said, keep his eye on you. Best chance to call for help. That big jerk's not stupid. He'll probably, He'll probably keep an eye on that phone. So, I mean, I think that's her saying, that's the best chance we have for help. He's going to know that. And so he's going to shoot my ass because he does not want anyone here. Because in, in the previous thing, it literally was like, this is, I, I mean, I think right now, the option is we try to go for the gun and maybe live, or if we turn and run for help, he's gonna shoot us in the back the minute we turn to run for the phone. Okay, go for the I'm gun. I'm convinced that. Go for the gun. All right, fuck it. D Dukes, if we lose, I just wanna let you know, thanks for letting me ruin this for no, us. It's all I take full <laughs> no, blame. <laughs> it's, not, it's not ruining us. W one of us is wrong. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's just go for it. Let's fuck this guy. Rush him. Get his gun. Gun goes up. All right. Fuck it. <laughs> if I get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. Do it. Execute. <laughs> Chat for Bagsby! For Bagsby! Yep. Cold for the cold god. <laughs> Let's Bagsby. do this shit. For the cold god. For the cold god. Oh no, I'm so worried. <sighs> Get it, girl! <sighs> Drop your gun, Declan. Anna! Oh, fuck. Hello? A woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, Anna, please. It was a shoulder wound. She's fine, right? But the phone, it, it didn't work? Question mark? I don't know what. What? What do you mean? Like, when we called, it was like, I don't know. I don't know what. It's, it's one of them, it's one of them weird backwoodsy ones. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however, the journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Thank God. All right. All right. 
she Looks alive? Like she okay? The only one who's come to visit Anna. Released from the hospital, it said. Great. Here's the thing. She gets to be the hero too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She's she the hero it. now. And she got revenge. And we get to go on our way, right? Everything's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. We deleted fine. our human selves, so um <laughs> So we're going to say, I'm glad you're alive. And then we're going to robot walk back to our car and move on. Sam! I guess. Hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. We, we good? Go. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. Joe. All right. No, okay. Anna told me Joe. What you did. How hard you fought. Thank you for keeping your word. Uh, I thought you were going to yell at us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, can I ask you a question? How many endings are there to this game? It feels I, like I there was know. a was lot there at the that. end. Plus, there's also another path where our half bro self is there. What is. Where Twinny no is there, yeah. And we can't go in the Mind Palace, so that whole ending would have been totally different. Uh, I wasn't thinking about I'm going to say it kept me going. I had to. That promise kept me going. I bet it did. But you better not drag my daughter into any more dangerous <laughs> situations, all right? Got, got it. Yes, sir. I imagine there's an ending where we die and she dies. Oh, for sure. Is there an ending where she doesn't get shot? I don't like, I feel like we definitely didn't get the best ending. I just don't know. I don't where know. Where are they? Where are yeah, dad's I'm notebooks? Curious. The yellow legal pad ones? You can get them later. You need to say hello to the guests who just arrived. The yellow ones were dad's favorites. I wanted to start Joan? using them. Uh, they've got to be here somewhere. Just Joan give me Waldron. a minute. Don't make me say it again. Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Careful, Muley. She's in one of her moods. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. It was hard before, but now she's completely shut me out. It's not surprising, given what happened. This town is no place for a teenager. Kathy, now is the time to get out of Basswood. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Stop doing drugs. You've always managed to get Joan to yeah. talk to you. Any advice? Yeah, don't do drugs. Get help with get your help. addiction. Yeah, get help. Kathy, when did you start taking opioids? What? What does that have to do with... What do you think happens if someone finds out and reports you? You could lose your job. How dare you? You don't know anything about what I've been through. I don't, but it doesn't change the facts. You need to get help. Hit her with the facts! Honey, who's gonna look after Joan in the meantime? Who'll pay for the treatment, huh? Don't you have family in the region? Well, I... There is my sister down in Virginia, but I... But you're not on good terms, Joan told me. Still, you don't have a choice if you intend to keep custody of her. You've always been a cold-hearted asshole. You know that? Do her a favor and forget about us for good this time. Doesn't want to hear the facts. She needs to hear don't it. Want... She, she needs to hear it. Get she help. Did. I got no time for that shit. Get help. The little girl needs you. Well, I guess we can't, like, search anything. Yeah, we're supposed to give them a moment, remember? Hey, kiddo. You, you looking for bugs, honey? Hey, bug. Hey, Muley. How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Well, at least that's what most people want me to say when they ask. Hmm. You know what? You can be honest. Or I know what you mean. Like, he, he knows yeah, right. what yeah, it's yeah, like okay. to like, that's good. Yeah, say yeah. what people want you to say. I've been there, too. Most people say that without meaning it. But I do mean it, Bug. So how are you? I guess... Better today than yesterday? Maybe? I still miss Dad. But finding out what happened to him... 
I don't know. Makes me feel a bit better. It's not bad, but it makes me feel better, right? No, it's not bad. I feel the same way. Hey, Muley. Are you staying around this time? I can't stay, Bug. Oh. I talked to your mom. She's gonna try to do better by you. Mm. No, nah, we're not saying she needs you. No, that's oh, no. pressure on that little girl. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, she's the child in this situation. That lady needs also, to... Also, let me just tell you, I don't want to be like, try to understand. I want to be like, be strong, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't, I don't, you don't need to understand your mom is a, addicted to some crazy shit. That's not on you. Yeah, your mom's got a lot of work to do. It's not on you to like, fix her or any of that. Yeah. It won't be easy, but I know you can be strong. You have to try to work with her. She's still your mom. Uh, I'll try. I'm gonna miss you, Muley. I'll really miss you. Me too, Bug. I need to find Anna. Call me whenever you want to. Deal? Yeah. Deal. By the way, great shirts. Keep it up, kid. Every shirt's been a winner. Right? This kid is an icon. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, bud. We haven't seen you since the beginning of the game. What's up? Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? Mm. Great. No. I've been uh, better. Mm. Although we're a robot now. Yeah, maybe we're maybe we're great as a robot. I'm, we have I'm facts. Great. Facts I are on our side. I feel nothing anymore. Yeah, facts we're, are my friends now. We're now Sherlock Holmes. I'm like all right with this reality. <laughs> facts are the only truth, black and white. All right, I'm better. Well, let's <laughs> say that I've had better weeks. Not a hard thing to believe. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. It might be time for me to finally hang up my saddle. The basswood jungle has printed its last pages. Hmm. Aw, retiring, bud. Yeah. It's making you think it's finally the right time to retire, huh? Believe me, it doesn't feel right one bit, but my flame has run its course. Without Nick. I really like this guy's design. Dennis, can't run a paper by yourself. Nor would I want to. Well, I, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll leave you to the other guests. Drop me a line. I like sometime. his voice actor a lot. Drop me a line. Mm. Uh, I got distracted by Yeah, the, the whole package is good. Chat Why? said uh, the real coal god was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the scene when this all ends and there's like a moment where it's like. I was going to say, do you like how this whole time we were like, sure to push yourself. well. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Okay. Now I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's cooperate Dickie's statement, hmm. no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. Hey. It's clear self-defense. It's nice. still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring here. Oh. We have become a robot. <laughs> we are robots now. Uh I'll tell the full story, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that what happened to Nick is big news. I know you will, sweetie. Just keep something in mind. I think God put an angel and a devil in each of us when we were born. We spend our whole lives watching them fight it out. And most days, that little angel comes out on top. 
But we all have times when it's the devil who's in charge. What? Uh, I can't judge you. We're the only ones in charge. Oh, shit. Yeah. Robot. Yeah, Robot run. We're the only ones in charge. We make our own decisions best, and we have to live with them. And I can promise you one thing. I won't let another Declan happen again. You have my word on that. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. You know what? I'm pleased with that choice. Yeah. I would love to know what happens if we, like, become one with that dude. I'm fine with not. Mm. Comfort food. Ooh, Comfort so food. Hell stuff. yeah. Anna won't have to buy food for weeks. Someone just brought I guess chili it's their dogs? way of making her feel better. Yeah, God, who's that? Bring my them hero. to my house. Yeah, I was to say, my favorite person. <laughs> so. So. I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? <laughs> better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You, know, you saved my life. We saved each other. Because we did. Okay. All right. All right, you. <laughs> we saved each other. Okay. The reason. Wait. But first, the reason that I laughed. Yes. Was because someone said Sam has matured into a proper computer. <laughs> made me laugh. Okay. Anyway, we saved each other. There was a lot of life saving on both sides. You did some yourself. I did, didn't I? I'm a hero. We're both heroes. I mean, I guess. I still outrank you, though. You didn't get shot. Fair. What's wrong? I wish we'd gotten those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I really want to say I don't buy it. I'm wondering what he's going to say. Um, what do you want to say? I agree. Let's say it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. There's still something missing. Something eating at me. Real mysteries don't wrap up in nice little bows. Maybe. Just for once, turn your brain off. So what are you going to do next with your unshot and healthy body? I'll finish Nick's article. I like that, yeah. Yeah. I like that. I'll finish up Nick's article. It's the least I can do for him. It's the least we can do. We'll finish the article together. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. So the implication is that like two weeks have gone by? Um, is that what at least, are saying? At least one, at least. Again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Ooh, he's gonna walk off like, robot man, <laughs> robot man. <laughs> Nobody beep, can tie down beep. robot man. Does he beep, need a boop, wife? Beep, no, he beep, doesn't beep, man. Beep, He's a robot beep, man. Beep, beep, beep. Maybe a printer and some cartridges. <laughs> doesn't need a ring or anything. He's a robot man. Um, is that it? Yeah, I guess it's like, can't say, uh, that's it, good, yeah. can't say goodbye to anyone. Just peace out. We've said all there is to say. But I'm taking a dog for the road. I wish. 
Don't Anna, know. you ain't gonna eat all these, right? Somebody assembled them and everything. That's fucked up. You're supposed to assemble your own so it's nice and fresh. Like, no, gonna you're gonna a, eat three of them? That dog's already greasy and like uh, the bun's a little wet. Right? I Might love well this slow walk of, ending of just like, we're done. Off, Mr. Higgs. Uh oh. Not surprised to see you here. Hello, I'm evil villain. A little surprised oh. to see you. Just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Hmm. Doesn't this feel guy one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Cool God. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't feel good. I want to say that. Right. Yeah. That's what I would say. Right or wrong, it doesn't feel good. People got hurt. That may be true. Still, what you did helped everyone. It really bolstered the common good. Be proud. For the common good! For the common good. For the good. common good! Sam! That's what mom says. My palace. Common good. It's this guy. Oh my god. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. good. Common, 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 common good. Common shit. good shit, right? I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. I can't believe right at the end here they're going to be like, oh, there was a cult. It's not Dodger. that easy to leave. Dodger. Dodger. Yes. Dodger, was it a cult? Oh Kathy, God. could she be the supplier? Get out the way. Oh my God, that was the kid at the beginning. I totally forgot. Mm. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Go check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I'd be best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Dive tackle that bitch. Young man, is everything all right? Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Do we come at him? I don't know. Do we work it up to it? Is that what I've been thinking does? I don't know what I've been thinking a lot means. It seems like that's like a good like uh, I've been thinking a lot, right? Yeah, it seems like the you know in every in every murder mystery movie, it seems like the final monologue. You know, something just doesn't add up here. It's that monologue, right? I've been I've been, I've been thinking. Hmm. What? Should, all right, I want to see what chat says. Okay. Chat, what do we do? <laughs> that Columbo shit, yes. Oh my god, everyone's like, get his ass. All right, maybe <laughs> I will. Ninety <laughs> percent. There's still forty seconds left. <laughs> 
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Columbo his ass. <laughs> Columbo is that. Uh, just one more thing. <laughs> Don't eat pizza, though. It's going to end up badly. I guess the problem is, is we don't have the file, so we can't prove anything. Right? Sure. So, I mean, I guess you're right. Like, I don't know. All right. Well, the chat nailed what I think we all knew they were going to choose. I'm not going to pretend. Okay. The Columbo. Yeah. I've been thinking a lot. I was lost in thought. And I've been lost in thought a lot lately. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm sure you have a lot to think about. Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that without proof would never hold up. Hmm. Did he know the supplier? Kathy must know. Boy. Ugh. I don't... Uh, I can tell the world's not the right answer. Right? I don't think that's it. Yeah. Definitely not. Here's so, the thing is like, if we can if we can somehow play this right, we've got a cop here. Like, right? Bess is still here? Or no, she's not? Um, I think Bess left. I don't think that we can drag Dickie into this because I think Dickie will just die. I think Kathy's here right now. If you, I don't know, because Dickie knows the supplier. Sure. The supplier is Kathy. Yeah, I don't know, but I don't know what Tell the World does. Kathy, oh god. I don't either. Kathy might lie, because she's scared. Yeah, I don't know. Dickie isn't here, and we don't know him super well. I don't know. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I have no clue. Maybe I can tell the world. I mean, we said that we're going to finish the article, right? Yeah. And maybe, and maybe that makes us the only... So he doesn't know. Like, he doesn't know it's the other two. So we can say... All right, I, he, I agree with he you. Do, he yeah. doesn't know how we're getting the info, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because we're not going to say, I can uh, I can say this person, then he'll know that we know. Mm, yeah. All right, I agree. The court of public opinion doesn't need documentation or a trail of evidence. Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? I'm here now, bitch. I like that shit. I like that. You know what, Dukes? I'm in for it. I'm here now. Damn. Hell yeah. I'm here now. My sleeves are rolled up and I'm getting to work. I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Oh, Joe, fuck. Kathy, Joe. 
Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? Mm. You killed him. Because you killed him. <laughs> um. I mean, we don't, we never saw the drive, so we don't know if he, if he ever realized it was this guy. Yeah, I, we can't say A for sure. Because we don't know. Maybe, what are you trying to say? This dude loves to hear himself talk, obviously, so. Yeah, all right, I like that. Just say whatever lies you think will save you. Very well, if you insist. A little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is who profits? Criminals? <gasps> the, mobsters, the envelope full lives. of money. Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. How we were like, this is way more money much. than he would ever have. He How did he get like this? That. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. Nick was. I don't care. I don't what care Nick what did. Nick did. I don't. Damn. I don't care if if Nick walked away. I ain't walking away. Damn. All right. Nick is dead. What he did or didn't do at the end doesn't make a difference now. That's true. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts. I promise, Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribe, buried the truth, what will his daughter think when I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter? And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't You're literally the reason she has sound. an addiction problem. Learn from your mistakes. We are robots now. Yeah, there's only there's only the truth. There's only facts. People are crystals. <laughs> <laughs> there is only the truth. Yeah, I mean, look. No, nah, F this guy. We'll, yeah. We, we're a damn good reporter. We're going to bring his ass down. Hell yeah. Refuse. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. But people will know what you did. And they'll all know the common good never factored in. You did it all for yourself. And I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it. Damn! Shut down a whole mine, bitch. Well, folks, I hope you got your seatbelts on, because we've got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mine in town loses its mine. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two Get years em. later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Get them! sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. 
Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior, who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Hell Basswood yes. Police Department is now under investigation. Oh, how a small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dance floor. We destroyed this town's two major exports. <laughs> we destroyed the town, period. We just, just, we destroyed the town. Everything about this town we ruined. But we're like a badass detective now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're robots, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, I feel... I feel like we did a good job playing Sunshine, as robots at the end. <laughs> on a good time. We certainly did. Mm, from the grave. All right, back. String band playing. Oh my goodness. I feel like we, uh, there were so many possible endings. I, I honestly don't know. I feel like yeah. there's a, like a perfect <clears throat> ending. I don't think we got it, but I think the ending we got is fine. I'm, I am wondering if there's an ending where no one gets hurt. Or like, or only the only the cop dies, or I don't know. I'm very curious. Yeah, and I wonder what the difference between. I wonder if we went with we want to be in society. If at yeah, the end it would have been. Yeah, what's twenty time like, like? What now? What's twenty time like? That's what I was I saying. Know. Like if we were like, let's be in a society. Also, might as well just get here. Stats. Seventy percent of people refuse the the money. I believe that. Nice. Managed to outsmart deck them protect Anna 69%. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, I chose to keep my mind palace. So oh, most people do. I bet this ending then, these two only reflect this. Yep, 100%. So based on everyone who made this choice, most people saved Anna. Most people denounced the dirty money. So I bet once you're like, I'm keeping my mind palace, I'm going full detective. At this point, you're pretty much on this path, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so we found the picture. We interrupted Dicky. <laughs> interrupted Tyler. 90% mm, were like, get out of here, dude. Stop it. Yeah. Jonah has to stay. We, uh, convinced Jonah to go home. Told yeah. Her. yeah. Most people did that too. Wow. Most people promised Joe. Most people were like, don't dwell on your sorrows. It's interesting. And I love, so I love that when you do certain choices like this, it's like, oh, well, this is our blue choice. This is our yellow choice. Like we picked these. Yeah. And that's what we sided with. And it's interesting that we sided with him most of the time. And then when it came down to it at the end, we were like, no. Nah. Like, no. Facts. Which, can I say that I think that goes to, like, human nature in that when when we needed help choosing things, um, we were like, well, let's listen to what other people say. Like, we were very good about that. Like, our other friend is, is trying to help us make choices. But when it comes mm. to us, at the end, he was like, you know, you need to either give yourself over to me or you're on your own. And rather than let someone else possibly influence us, we were like, fuck it. I'd rather turn into a robot than let anyone else have any control over me as a person. Well, it's it's interesting, right? Because like the first time that we played this, we were discussing like, is this DID or not, right? Like, is this multiple personalities? And right. after playing it, it seems more like he is, was naturally analytical enough that he like conceptually understood what he was supposed to be doing to like blend in right um and sort of like created a second voice to like discuss how he should behave with yeah kind of the, um, kind of the person who would be like that's not what you're supposed to do in this scenario the people want yes. you it's kind of the way Joan was like people want you to act a certain way or adults act a certain way. And right. that was that version of him. And now right. he's like, that's not who I am though. I actually kind of like that. But yeah, I actually, I kind of, yeah. I, I think that that's the reason why like up till that point, 
it felt like, you know, well, we'll go with whoever makes the most sense. But at the end of the day, when it was, do you want to pretend to be somebody else or not? Right. Or are you okay with just being who you are? Yeah. And like, I think for both of us, it was like, yeah, if who we are is somebody that fucking solves cases and is a badass analytical I'd mind that, that maybe yeah. has no friends, then yeah, definitely. Let's be ourselves. But I'm very curious for sure what the game is like. Um, if if you decide like no i'll just mask for the rest of my life you know i'm curious what the because at the end it said that we wrote the article by ourselves so i feel like the robot part of us was like we're gonna keep everyone out of it right mm -hmm. we just did it ourselves and we got all the answers so there would be no blowback on anyone else we like did everything i imagine that's because then we left town we were like it's time to go mm -hmm. and i'm curious if the the ending there's got to be like I don't want to look at Maybe I do. I don't know. I'm about to go look this up. Like, I, there's got to be an ending where... I don't know. I, I have no clue how how it ends. I'm, I'm trying yeah. to look up how many endings there are total. I don't want... I guess I don't want to know the other endings. Because I don't want to know if we got something terrible or not. <laughs> but <laughs> I do fair. Wanna, I do want to know. I'm probably gonna look it up like, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Yeah, I do want to know how many there are. Alright, well, I definitely know there's something called the worst ending. Actually, there are two of the worst endings. I feel like nothing we did was the worst. Um Yeah. So, oh, uh, okay, so these are the titles of the endings. There is the uh, best twin mirror ending. Okay. There is the good ending. Uh, oh, oh, so there's one called Reality, and there's one called Palaces, and there's bad ending Reality, worst ending Palaces, and there's, I think, I think there are four or five i can't tell i can't tell this is i don't want to go into reading it <laughs> i don't want to read it. uh yeah all right interesting mm. hmm. well i mean i enjoyed the hell of that i don't know me too that was great i'm so glad that we finished it yeah me too i i, I it was so weird that we were at the end and we we're like how much more is there to this i was about to be, i yeah. think we were both about to be like all right we'll just play it again and again another day we were literally right, yeah end. But we were, yeah, we only had an hour left. Well, if we got the good ending for keeping the mind palace, I'm, I'm fine with that. That's what I wanted. Mm. Uh, I love the idea of him going off and being like, and now to investigate other cool shit. So. Yeah. Because as much, I think as much as, as, I don't want to say this is a fantasy ending, but as much as I want to be like, and then he got right with himself, and then he and his, you know, girlfriend got back together. That's not good for her. <laughs> That's a terrible ending for yeah. her. She deserves way right? better. One hundred percent. I feel so. like as as much as as much as this ending is us saying like my whole life I've cared enough about trying to conform, so to speak, that I've that I've like kept this voice to discuss things with right. to like I do think even though discarding that is is probably awful from his perspective um, it it's probably healthier for him to be like this is just this is who I am and how my brain works and I'm gonna just stop yeah. trying to be something that's different you know uh, I think that he rather than you know try to drown out the voices in his head and shit. I love the idea that he is like, now I devote myself to bringing down assholes. I'm like, that's cool ass life. <laughs> yeah. Get on, dude. Oh, yeah. Get on with yourself. All right, wow. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Could we have stopped her from getting shot? Probably. <laughs> sure, I made a wrong choice in there somewhere, but uh, I'm fascinated to see what all the possibilities are. Because it definitely seems like a Life is Strange thing where there's multiple, like, you can get the good ending but still have, like, differences in it. You know what I mean? Mm. So, I, I don't know. Like, uh, when we played Life is Strange 2, we had a good ending, but there was also some things in there where I was like, I think we could have done better with that. And I went and I researched, and you definitely could. 
Like there are some ending bits that right. you could have made a little bit better. I think that there are things here that could have gone better, but I just don't. I just don't know. I have no clue. But I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna say everything was smooth as could be. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good ending. Yeah, you know? we had a good good run. I feel good about that. Yes. All right, Dukes. Thank you for playing with me. Thank you. Yeah, it was for awesome. Being here and hanging. Um, to everyone who came to watch, thank you for watching and hanging out with us tonight. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots. It's a production of broadcast. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. <laughs> <laughs>